Hey. Welcome to Diecast Destiny. My name's Craig. I'll be the Dungeon Master this evening. One quick Ooh. disclaimer. Fuck Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. We do not support their bullshit right now. We are continuing to play D&D for the moment. For the moment. Uh, but, fuck them. We just wanted to say that. Yep. Anyway, I'm here with Sarah, Trey, Jer, Jess, Matt, and Jax. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> hi, guys. Hi. What's up? Oh, man. Do we have any other announcements? We have Pathfinder. We love you guys. We're coming soon. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We'll be playing Pathfinder 2E. Gonna be a good time. Thank you, Muzz. Thank you. Thought I'd switch it up a little bit. Also, my black shirts are dirty. So. I'm guessing he's sitting Muzz next to Muzz have shirt. a shirt that looks like that? They have the, the exact same shirt. same shirt. Yeah. He wore it for his I, birthday. I fucking knew it. I'm like, that shirt does look different. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen it on both Craig and Muzz. <laughs> yep. You sure have. If they meet in person, they have to wear it together. <laughs> yes. It's it's the best shirt. It says to shave his head so they're both bald and like both have beards and wearing the same shirt and like khaki shorts and like flip flops. Yes. That's up to him. Then they touch each other and we get a time cop situation. They like <laughs> together and uh... Do they just like blend together into one person? Like um, that one episode is Voyager where um, Neelix and Tuva got freaking fused together. Would that make him Cruz or Meg? Cruz. Meg. No. <laughs> Meg. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. Uh, Muzz, you can do. <laughs> uh, what I like Cruz. It sounds like crust. Uh, ew. <laughs> Muzz, you can do better than a bald cap. Jax, just sneak up on him. Nope. Just. But, but I like his hair the way it is. You can save it for later. <laughs> what's, wrong with, what's wrong with bald? Nothing's wrong with bald. He just has a really good style. Uh -huh. No, it's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I take two thirds offense to that. Well, the thing is, is my best uh. friend. Get this, my best friend, whose name is Matt, is bald. And I like it on him. There's more than one. <laughs> Don't forget War is Hell. Goodness. All right. Let's just jump right to the roleplay warm up question then. Yeah. Okay. So I asked this question. Well, not this question, but I ask a question at the beginning of every session to get the players into the mind of their characters. This week it is Who do you revile? Please do not use any currently known NPCs. Make up someone new. We'll start at the top with Cecily. I spent a whole like 10 minutes thinking about this. Um, so during my ramblings around through uh, southwest uh, Valanis after leaving home I came across this tiefling merchant don't remember their name but they were like a like a purple color with like ram type horns and they owned this shop I walked in there I saw that he was selling uh, pan flutes that were made in my village. The ones that I knew had not been acquired legally or uh, with any respect to the satyrs or us at Zilpa Hill. And uh, I basically told him that, you know, I asked him, like, where did you get these? And he's like, oh, I've been to all over the place and I came across, you know, blah, blah, blah. But they were the ones that my father made. So. 
I, yeah, uh, yeah. If I ever see him, I will probably kill him. All right. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy indeed. He was never in Silver Hill. Fuck him. I would have no. I would have noticed or remembered somebody like that. Yeah. All right. Kish. Revile. Uh. What was his name? Uh, Heinrich Wattswood. He's a, uh, a no good, dirty crumbum, I think is what Drew said. Uh, I haven't actually met him, but he really didn't like him. He said he just, like, thinks he's so great and thinks he can sing so well and thinks he's so popular and kept taking his dates. So, we're not supposed to be friends with him, if I ever meet him. He called his father a crumb bum. <laughs> All right. William. I actually wrote this down. Uh, I should have done that. Uh, Clyburn Westwall of the Tembury Westwalls. A uh, distant cousin on my father's side. That knave tormented me at every Midsummer's Jubilee for decades, breaking my dolls, throwing my books in the mud, spitting in my pudding. I have not seen him in ages and intend to keep it that way. Yeah, has your pudding been clean since then? As far as I'm aware, yes. One of those cousins who's probably in jail now. Either in jail or hugely successful and looking to rub your face in it. One of those. The success or the pudding? Yes. Successful pudding. <laughs> Maybe he made a fortune in making puddings that he spits in. Probably. That's the secret oh, that ingredient. kind of market. We'll pay a lot. <laughs> West Walugi. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Loon. <laughs> um. Well. I don't think I feel that way about anyone. At least not yet. Okie dokie. Clank. While we were in Bogsboro, I noticed that there was a spider rancher, and I hate that guy. I don't know who they are. Didn't even mention it because I didn't want anyone to go there, but I hate them. He probably ranches silk, and it's probably like the finest quality, and you should probably not judge him. Hmm, spiders are bad. No, they are not. They are our friends. Nice. Ariana. I wrote mine down. I rarely write mine down. Nice. <laughs> I revile Cathegan. He is the evil twin brother to my late husband. Yes, I was married. I don't talk about it much because, uh, you know, it's one of those things you go ahead and keep it to yourself. But in order to release the hate, I need to talk about it. Uh, Declan, my late husband, went out on a hunt and Cathegan, being his evil self, took the chance to uh, kill him and take his place, making them think that Cathegan died and Declan lived. It didn't take long for me to figure that out and I called him out on it. But it was too late for Declan and uh, I had to do the normal split up and I lost family and friends because of it. So yeah, yeah, I don't like him. There's anger. Oh my God. That's a bit of a bomb drop. <laughs> so 
sorry. Cecily like peeks in the window with like a sign that says, "You want me to kill them for you?" Like. Oh my god, I love that so much. Nice. Alrighty. I think that was everybody. So let's jump into things. When last we left off, the party had just finished up in Whovale. You made your way back to Aerith to deliver the phylactery to someone with more knowledge of such things. You met Professor Afarin, who would take the phylactery and promised to dispose of it. You were suspicious of him, but couldn't prove anything. Deciding to trust, you left and spent the next couple days researching and training while waiting on Professor Mayoran's wish spell to renew. At some point during all of this, Lynn also decided to use the dream spell to talk to Kalara. She was attempting to talk her out of selling any more pets to the wizard community. Unfortunately, Loon accidentally spawned a nightmare and potentially killed Clara instead. William was qu quickly consulted to attempt to relieve Clara of the nightmare in hopes it wouldn't kill her. It seemed to work to get rid of the nightmare, but you still weren't sure if she would die in the end. The time came, and you made your way back to the Crescent Shadow. Where you saw the pet building was closed when it should have been opened. Choosing to check on that later, you proceeded to Professor Mayoran. Clink was ready to cash in on his last wish spell and gave the professor his wording. Mayoran began to cast the spell, reciting the wish precisely as requested, but the spell failed. The stress from the previous casting was too much, and he will never be able to use that spell again. Crushed, you all left the Compendia Arcanum, only to see your problems seemingly pile on. Everywhere you looked was a familiar golden pamphlet. And this is where we pick back up. It's late morning on the Crescent Shadow, and everywhere you look, someone is holding a gleaming golden pamphlet. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, Clank? Points him out. Oh dear. I don't well. think we're going to be able to convince these people. No. And just so, so you guys know, I had gone off to that uh, place with the exotic and expensive boozes again when oh, I yeah. left, when I separated from you guys. So I was like, all right, libraries are not my thing. Cool. I'll go get drunk instead. And yeah, so that's where I am right now. Have we seen anyone handing these out? You can look around. Make a perception check. Not good at that. And I also look around? Yeah, I'd also like to take a glance around. Go ahead. I'm up on carry on his shoulders for a better look. Uh, dirty 20 for Loon. 27. Link and Loon, you look around, but you don't see anyone. Kish uh, just walking into an alley far down the street. You notice there's someone with significantly more than one pamphlet. At carry on and point him out, hop down. It like just catches your eye before he disappears across the, or, uh, 
behind the corner. I start heading towards that alley. I just sort of like wave to the group. Like that's where I'm going. Okay. Everyone follow, I assume. Yep. I follow. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. We're not doing crimes yet. When I get to the alley and kind of like yeah. wait on the end and like peer around it, not charge right into the alley. Okay. Detective peek into mode? the alley. <laughs> you peek into the alley. You don't see anyone, but you do see at the building on your left, towards the end of the alley, it has a door. Is that the only exit from this alley? Aside from the one we're in right now? Uh, from this particular alley, yes. Was the group able to keep up? I mean, they got to you eventually. Okay, Assuming, I mean, it you know, uh, depends on how far it is. <laughs> it depends on how fast you're running, really. I mean, if you're going at yeah. your full speed, right? Like, <laughs> they will get to you eventually. It's like right. next yeah. 12 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Kish, why did you run off like that? What are... Like, lean, like, gestures for Loon to lean in close. I saw someone with a lot of the pamphlets head down there. It looks like he maybe went through that door? Are you thinking it's somebody that's passing them out? I would imagine. Looks around, like, everyone else just has one. And that's what was happening during Crackfest. Uh... He had all the kids passing him out then. Kids. Yeah, the one Who? Bren told you about that Clank had kids. It was the orphans. Oh, Clank's kids. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> my friends, my kids. Clank and Kish's yeah. kids. No. <laughs> no. I don't want kids anymore, no. Oh, um, all right. So what are we going to do? I didn't think that far ahead. Just... Well, it seems that there is only one way for them to go. We could either A, wait here and hope they exit, or B, see if the door's unlocked. Are there any, like, loose flyers, like, on the ground or anything like that? Make a perception check. Okie dokie. Twelve. Looking around, looking around, um, there's, there's none that you see, uh, especially not in the alleyway itself. How, how far back is the street? Could I easily, you, like, just pop out of the alley and, like, onto the street? Are you guys in the alley at this point? Or, because last we time you were just stopped on the outside, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Loon's gonna turn around, and, um, is there anybody walking by that has one of these flyers? Uh, there's, yeah, there's people walking by. <laughs> there's one guy that, um, you see coming your way. He seems to be walking, or... It will be walking right past you. Oh, he's uh, currently reading me, it, but sir. he begins to fold it up. Yes. I keep seeing everyone with these flyers. Um, I'm just curious. May I see yours? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Hey. Any any idea what it is? Open it up and look. Uh, no clue. Uh, take care. Oh, thank you. Y you as well. I'm gonna read the flyer. Yeah. So, opening the flyer... It reads...
tonight only. Hold on a second. <laughs> tonight only, hold on a second. Cryptic. So it's fair. Just <laughs> <five blocks. laughs> While you look that up, okay. uh, oh, go for it. Uh, it says, Tonight only, the goblin guzzlers at the Raging Inn Tavern. What? Hmm. what? I'm gonna take that I flyer see. back to the, the group. Um, it looks like it might be some sort of ad for entertainment. It says, tonight only, the goblin gu guzzlers at the Raging Inn Tavern. Well, it's not an advertisement for a cult. Doesn't appear that way. I'll flip it over and inspect the whole thing, I guess. Goblin guzzlers. Do you There's suppose that's as explicit as it sounds? No. no, I'm pretty sure that it's a drink special at a specific tavern. And I'm pretty sure this is an elaborate form of advertising. Can I... Can I see it? Sure, here. Is it magical? Is it giving off magic? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Well, what's the school? Yeah, can I tell what the school is? Sure, one moment with that. Continue on and I'll get that to you. Okay. Looking at it, is it in Thieves' Cant or anything? Oh, yeah. It, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, no. No thieves can't. Hey, Hand it back can't. to Loon. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should check out the Raging Inn Tavern. Um, I have a uh, trans transmutation. They made gold. Apparently so. That would explain how they try would... so. Go ahead. I was gonna try to dispel magic, but I didn't prepare it today. Oh well, you yeah. guys think alike because that's what he just did. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I, I have suck. it for one once a day. That's what makes us a team. Does it explode? I'm not sure if that's does, does it. Does it explode into a cloud of glitter and confetti? Oh my god, please. Or fire. We don't know. Depends on the band. What kind of music? <laughs> it's metal, fire for sure. Yeah. I hope it's not like Gigi Allen. Goblin Guzzler Guzzler sounds <laughs> like uh, like swap core. Yeah. I could, mm hmm. Just explodes oh. into beer and sweat. What if it's a drag show? I heard Mother talk about these. I've a, never been to one. A drag show? What's a drag show? I don't know. A dragon I mean... show? <laughs> Ooh, is she... Oh, Kariana, you and Feldir can perform. Show. Yeah, but I don't think those would be called a drag show. I mean, I would think that you would complete the word. Dragon. Well, Drew said people like shorter names, so maybe they just... That's why he suggested going by Kish instead of Cinnamon. <laughs> hmm. So, like, maybe they don't... I'd probably perform, do something, but I'd like to go see a drag show first. You know, just so I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I want to know what it's about. Regardless... 
This tavern might have connection to the mass distributed flyers in South Warren and probably other places. If this is just their mundane means of advertising, someone might be using it in order to facilitate the cult's uh, recruitment. Um, did we? She looks okay. around. Uh, no, nothing actually happens. Cool. Um, she just looks around after hearing Clank say that. Do you think all these flyers are the same, or that there's also some like we found before? Mixed in. Yeah, like if... Hold, points at the flyer Loon's holding. Like if that's supposed to hide it. Possibly. There also might be some hidden text on the flyer. Did we ever um, use detect magic on the flyers back in South Warren? Yes. Okay. Yeah. They were not. Yeah. Okay. No. Thank you. Yeah. Ren had uh, wanted to make sure that they weren't being like try uh, try <laughs> tracked or something. Oh yes. Okay. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Loon's gonna hold the flyer out in front of her, um, like she's, you know, grandma trying to make out what's on the paper. Um, and sure. she's gonna think um, about trying to bring up the magic Siri <laughs> and see if it can um, translate or, or show any hidden message on the... Uh, the thingy, the flyer. Okay. Uh, as you, as you uh, think about bringing up the the local guide, <clears throat> it pops up. Um, it actually intentionally surrounds this flyer uh, so that it isn't actually distracting from the flyer itself. Uh, wherever you move it, it happens to just kind of morph and change with it. Any text that's on the the guide. Um, adjusts itself appropriately but it gives you a little map that seems to show right where you're at I had a suspicion mm -hmm. that and it says the Raging Inn Tavern yeah well um, at least we know how to get there it would make sense that the employee would go back to the establishment uh is the did the spell magic remove the in magical aura from the paper? Uh, yeah, it, it removed the magical aura, um, but that's it. Nothing about it changed. Okay, we need to get another one. You mean you, like a fresh need? one? Yes, one that has not been dispelled. Uh, would you be able to facilitate that? If you don't want people to know, maybe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can ask, or if, you know, need be. Oh, you're cute. Use your, they will give you uh, one. <laughs> natural talents. I'm gonna kind of like look at the buildings. Are we standing right by the Raging Inn Tavern? Where are you looking at the building from? Are you the looking street? at it from the street? Yeah. It looks like a, a it's it's just a brick wall. It's just a plain brick building. There's no uh signage. Nothing like that. Hmm. Do you think maybe these are supposed to be a a key? Like a oh. password but a physical four? Um, I, I, I suppose, um, perhaps the magic that was, um, now dispelled was the key. I'll go ask someone. Like, look around for someone who looks like they've got a pamphlet. Maybe someone Maybe who's not, like, clutching ship. it <laughs> like they want it, but... My pearls. That's a low roll for me. Fifteen. 
I mean, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three. That's a roll, uh, though. I know. Oh, in the roll, roll a three, get a fifteen. Right. <laughs> um. So while there's there's plenty of people around, there's not many that are actually holding a pamphlet still. Um, but you do notice that there is one lady that's sitting off to the side on a bench. Um, she's got her legs crossed. She's currently reading a book. And just next to her is a bag. And below that bag, there seems to be peeking out from under it the flyer. Yeah. Go up to her. Remember what Cariana said? Like, trying to make my eyes real big. <laughs> Excuse me. No response. Go up closer. Like, kind of like, nod a little. Excuse me. No response. Can I see the pamphlet? <laughs> From where I'm standing like, now? No, yeah, yeah. Mostly covered, though? Can't, like... It's poking out a little bit, but yeah, it is mostly covered. It looks like the same one from what I can see. Uh, yeah. Just checking. Alright, uh... I'll kind of, like, straighten up a bit and, like, reach over and, like, kind of gently tap her hand on the book <laughs> i was like if i hit the knee that might get a kick reaction oh oh you, oh, you started sorry me. i'm sorry i tried to not but uh i am i am awfully sneaky uh, I'm, um I'm sorry. i was just curious one, one, mo uh, one moment what? Uh, oh uh so, i'm sorry to bother you i was just curious about that pamphlet um do you mind if do you mind if I take a look at it? Oh, uh... Sure. She lifts her bag. Look. Lift it over. Do you mind... Were you going to use this? Uh, I, I kind of no. want to check it out. You can I have can it. have it? Thank you so much! <laughs> like, get out of that awkward situation. <laughs> she puts something Run back, back in, in hand her ear and goes back to her book. What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know how people read and listen to music at the same time. I do all the time. I do. I can't do it with words. But, no, uh, sounds them, bigger. Them, them instrumentals? Oh, yeah. Oof, just takes me away. Puts me uh, right yeah. in the place that it needs to be. It's gotta be, if it's got words, it's gotta be at the right volume so it's not overpowering the book. Um, but yeah, I listen to, like, goth music and shit when I'm, like, reading. Or listen in a language you don't understand, so. <laughs> That's fair. I do that either. Oh, well. Hmm. Vocalizing. I can do vocalizing. As long as there's no words. Like, um, colning. I can... Mm. Mm. Got a new paper. Hand it to the tall people. <laughs> Is this one also a magical? Yes. I'll go ahead and try something. Go ahead. Try it. I'm going to say, till the divine embrace claims us once more. I like that you have notes. <laughs> well, it was like their secret passcode, okay? That's <laughs> <laughs> how you let people right. know you're part of the club. <laughs> That's true. All right. Well, I really thought that would work. Uh, hey, whoa. As you speak that phrase, and you look at this paper, holding it in your hand. No, nothing happens. Damn. That was good, though. That was a good thought. I love that. That was a Tries good Tries the thing, crumples it up. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. Wait, give it a minute. Picks it up. Um, well, what was that you said? It was a sort of passphrase. Uh, 
a phrase the cult uses to let others know that they are friendly to the uh, cult. Hmm. Our... We didn't keep any of those in medallions, did we? That was going to be my next guess. If, if we might be checking this... Oh, okay. Go go ahead and, and say what you're going to say, but you said medallion, oh. and it made me think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, If we're going to be checking this place out, do, sh should I go find Cecily? I can find her pretty quick, probably. Yeah, she's... I think she was going back to that bar. There's a lot of buyers. The really exotic one, I believe. I think that's the one that's been her favorite. Or like that area that has all the exotic ones. I'm going to pull up the magic map. We didn't go to that bar, and she didn't tell us about that one. Oh. I was Cecily. Where would I be? Magic map. Where's the best alcohol? <laughs> there you go. That's a good... Mm -hmm. I think that's probably the method that Cecily had used to find it in the first place. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah! Think like Cecily. <laughs> probably with what that exact would phrasing, do? too. <laughs> WWCD. You receive... You, you receive a guided uh, arrow path on the ground before you. Right. I'll go find her and bring her back here. Uh, looks at Loon. If you guys change plans, you can let me know, right? Oh, yeah. I, I can, uh... I could use sending. Okay. I'll, I'll go find her. Take off running. Now, Ariana, do you still have the medallion? I think you might have gotten one from your mother or father at some point. Did I? I don't remember that. No, Ren did. Ren got one off of their parents uh, before they headed back because Ren made them feel kind of uneasy about the situation going on, they said. Yes. Shite. And they were asking, like, yeah, they were like, uh, these people, I don't like to swear. Dangerous. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't say that they didn't like to swear. They no, said well, they they acknowledged the fact that the word dangerous was intense. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was intense. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. Actually, they got the flyer back. I think they pointed out someone who had a medallion. Because they had said, like, watch out for people with medallions. So I do correct myself. I don't think they got their hands on one. I think that they just... Her, their parents pointed out someone with a medallion. Because they're like, watch out for people with these. I thought that perhaps Loon had one still. Um, from a long time ago. Uh, or the Gale? I don't, I don't think I... Yeah, I don't think she does. Because uh, we had we had picked up some medallion off of like um, bandits or something, and I can't remember if it was for Ilsen scene or if it was like the divine. Oh wait, there was one in Orthgale, wasn't there at the wedding? That guy that uh, yeah, the guy that you killed, I think. You're the one that killed him, right? My internet dropped that day, so was it Cariana? I, no, I wasn't even there. I, I Someone was grabbed, like a beast, I think. I grabbed somebody by the leg. Um, he died because yeah. we had to go talk to him with Grixis. Yeah. The next day. Grixis might have killed him. He does that a lot. But we would have, <laughs> if he had a medallion, I'm sure we would have at least taken it off of him. Well, well I didn't write it down, so. Yeah, so regardless. It wasn't it was recorded, so. We'll have to either find another one, or... I don't know, there's no, like, code-breaking spell, so... 
That's something I need to invent. Uh, Loon's gonna pop um, back into the alley and uh, walk down to that door. Is there any signage by that door? Uh, there is. And it, is it? It's a. It's just a, a a carved. It's actually not even it. It's like the door is the sign. It's carved into the door, uh, raging in tavern. Uh, hey gang. Yes. Well, we are here. Might as well pop in, right? Granted, but are we sure this is the front entrance? Um, it'd be awfully strange to have a sign on the door if, if it wasn't. Unless it's an entrance for, you know, people dropping off materials or supplies or drinks. A delivery entrance, if you will. Perhaps. I don't see any harm in just checking. If it's the wrong door, then we'll go around. Fair enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna open the door. Door is locked. Oh. Perfect. I'm going to knock on the door. <laughs> okay. They're just going to tell us to use the front. Loom's just being thorough. The door finally opens. Oh, hello. Um, I'm sorry. Am I at the right, uh, the right place for the Raging Tavern Inn? Or Raging Inn Tavern? Y yes, but. Oh. What? Can I help you? It... Oh, um, I wanted to ask about these flyers. Is there some sort of show this evening? That's what it says. Well, actually, it says tonight only the Goblin Guzzlers. I don't know who the Goblin Guzzlers are. You don't... Okay, uh, well, yes, there there is a show tonight. Excellent. What time? At sundown. Thank you. Sure. Is now, that it? Do the goblins guzzle, or do they guzzle goblins? <sighs> the door shuts. Which sundown do you suppose he meant? Yeah, it's point. Jeez. pretty arbitrary. I mean, I guess there would be some form of sundown at some point. I mean, it is... It's night on the whole continent at the same time, right? But uh, no, not quite. It's okay. pretty. Far it's away. a big continent. Yeah. There. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we should just come back um, at sundown. I would actually suggest that we go in now. The last time we attempted to go into a tavern that had a show, there was a line around the building and a very long wait to get in. Should we secure our seats early? Um, you want to just stay here all day and wait? Well, I was hoping to drink too, but... Hmm. Well, William, Kiriana, what do you think? I, I know that Kish is off trying to fetch Cecily, and, um... Maybe I should check on Clara? I mean, it wouldn't uh, wh hurt to look around while there's less people here. About what time is it? It was morning it when we started. Yeah, late late morning. Okay. Well, it certainly wouldn't hurt to do some reconnaissance, but uh, uh, I understand your desire to check on Clara. I'm gonna 
to inspect the door again. Is there like a gap? We will get back to that momentarily. Cool. Kish. Yep. You arrive at a place. Okay. Cecily. Adjacent to a location. What is the name <laughs> of the place? I I have to name the place. Yeah, homie. What would you name a tavern that would totally pull Cecily in? I wouldn't say it's a tavern. It's more of like a liquor store. That too. Uh, it's called. Um. Little line. Bartleby's Fine Spirits, and more. <laughs> and more. Nice. The and more was just like an afterthought. I love and it. beyond. <laughs> and good and glorious and gigantic and the and more. <laughs> and the and more is what drew Cecily in. Oh, what more is there? So are intoxicants. You arrive at this place. Alright, pop in. Look around. Cecily, are you there? I am checking out a couple of um, bottles of things, and I'm about to uh, check out Cecily! Like a bottle I found of, you! There's like a bottle of um, shit, I need the map. <laughs> Getting all lore buildy here now. I love it. A uh, bottle of uh, like a vodka from Kriggan. Like, think Grey Goose quality or better. Nice. Kriggan called Moss Clear. Cri yeah, Kriggan Clear. There we go. And the clear is spelled with a K. Nah. And a bottle oh, of no. um, like a cinnamon schnapps from uh, Vintner Bale. What'd you find her? Cecily. Oh, hey, Kish. What, what's uh, up? Um, there's something going on. We're not sure. We, we, uh, we got out of the library, and uh, the wish didn't work, and then everyone had a bunch of these gold flyers, and so we thought, oh no, it's happening again. But then when we looked so, at the flyers, so, it was like, down, maybe a... Down. So, you, you said the wish didn't work? Yeah. So... So, so Clank still... He, he still doesn't remember anything? No... Well, that's too bad. Maybe that's we can get him drunk and Mayor he, can, for, he can. We'll get him drunk and he can forget that he forgot. He did say he won't. He, but I wasn't there for that. Never mind. <laughs> and okay, uh, so yeah, so uh, flyers like yes, those gold flyers, but they're not the same gold flyers. But they are kind of weird gold flyers. But they're they mention a uh, like a show or something, and the gang wants to check it out just in case it's something. You know, related like what happened in Crackfest, um, but I thought we sh we should be together, so I came to find you, and I did. Oh, you did. Uh, Yay for how me. did how did you find me? I asked where the best booze was. That's what I would have done. Actually, that's what what I did do to find this place in the first place. So yeah. Yeah. See. To think like an alcoholic. But, uh, Good for you. <laughs> Beams. <laughs> you shouldn't be proud of that. Oh. But you should be. I'm no, very I don't know. confused now. Anyway, I'm going to buy these and then we are go. We can go. Okay. I set them on the counter. What are these? It's booze. Oh, okay. Not the and more. 
Not today. The animals in the back. That'd be you 60 want to go gold, to... please. 60 gold, okay. What's the and more? 60 gold for two bottles? They're gold. rare and like imported. I sure. think it's imported up there. <laughs> I mean, it's the Crescent Shadow. That's true. Like trying to buy something in just the richest fucking city. Like Dubai. Yeah. Shit's gonna be more expensive. Austin, Texas. <laughs> it's true. Freaking so dollars true. for a bottle of water. Yep. <laughs> okay, we can go check out the end more um probably later, maybe uh yeah. But okay. let's go, we're gonna go check out what this, uh, thing you're talking about. Yeah. They they said if they changed their plans, they'd send me a message, so, um, they should still be back there. Pull up the map and say the, uh, the Raging Inn Tavern. Okay. You begin your way back. Peace. Lynn, you are going to check the door. Yes, I am looking to see if there's like a sizable crack or anything like that. Okay, make an investigation check, please. Nineteen. Nineteen. You look over the door and... You give it a pretty decent look, but you don't see any sort of crack. Darn. I'm going to look up the building and around. Uh, are there any windows? There are not. What are you looking for? Oh, I was looking for a way in um, for Cremini. I thought maybe they could you know, scope it out. Fair. We could still try the front door. Right. Um. Also. Well, never mind that. I suppose. Let's let's see if we can get in. Weren't you going to check on something else? Mm, fidgets. Um. Yes, but I'm I'm nervous. Why? It's not like you killed someone. Would you like someone to go with you? Foreshadowing. <laughs> Got him. Um, actually, yes, volume. We should probably go to the pet store. Yes, well, as long as we're not entering Clara's dreams, I don't see what harm we can do by doing so. Yeah, eh, yeah. What does that mean? I think. It's, I'm speaking purely in hypotheticals. Right. <clears throat> I, um, um... I'll send Kish a message. Right. I'm gonna use sending. Okay. Kish, we're going to go by Clara's pet shop. Meet us there? You can reply to this message. Oh, I can reply to these? Okay, the pet shop. Got it. I found Cecily. You get all of that. Perfect. You had about five words left. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I've told Kish. Kish found Cecily. They'll meet us there. I'm gonna pull up the map by thinking about the, the shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gives you a little quick guide right to it. It's right not across too far. The it's it's yeah. It's just down the it's just down the street. Well, luckily it's close. Is it uh, still it's shut like up? You can see it from here. You see Kish <laughs> from down there on the other end of the street. <laughs> like okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, as you get there, yes, it is still closed. Hmm. Is there any sort of a sign in the window? Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. No, just the closed sign. Oh. Looks like we'll have to come back another day. Hmm. I wonder. Do you, do you suppose it would count as trespassing if you're trying to ascertain the wellness of a person on private property? Yes. Do you think that would be morally justifiable? <laughs> Potentially. Why? Well, I'm just thinking I could through arcane means, take a look around inside. See if Clara's perhaps okay, if she's in need of assistance. Oh, like yeah, a wellness like... check. It's odd that her shop would be closed, especially after we discussed the possibility of me purchasing it. In fact, maybe I should just remind her of that. Okay, well... I mean, technically, we've scried on people without their consent before, so why stop now? Uh, I'm going to use... spirit. Kish and <laughs> Cecily, you, you see the group in the distance. They're not too far off. Wave. I'm actually just going to use sending okay. on Clara. Clara! I have considered your offer about the shop, but I see you are not here. Please respond. I'm sorry, who is this? Loon just lets out the longest sigh. She agreed to sell. Wally. Yes. The shop she door responded. opens. Oh. Oh, it's you. Hey. Uh, hi. Uh. Oh. Do you remember speaking to me about the purchase okay. of your shop? Um, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I remember speaking to him. <laughs> uh. Huh? When? The other day when we were in here. Last night. Yes, that we. Okay. Last we... night. She said last night. Carry on a stairs yes, at Wally. Yes, yes, well, uh, hello, Clara. Uh, hey. Uh, he, um, looking over Carry on, it just gives it. Yeah, I know, I know. This is spiraled out of control. Uh, looking over Carry on, he gives a small, uh, uh, probably imperceptible shake of his head and a widening of his eyes. Uh, hello, Clara. Uh, we, uh, it, out of some concern, I had uh, w wanted to ascertain that you were, um, that you were, uh, 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 alive? 
And why Which would we you can want see to that do you are. that, Wallium? What a weird question. Uh, but, yeah. Last night, he gave me the most delicious, large, creamy cheese log. Oh. And I'm sure that means exactly what it sounds like and nothing untoward. It sure does. And she winks at you. Oh, God. I just got the worst mind picture. Oh, I'm going to oh. go over here. Anyway, do you have any more? <laughs> I don't think I want to be here for that. No, it's delicious. You should really try his cheese log. Lou's going to, like, take him by the arm, clink by the arm, and, like, pull him away. Yeah, we well, should definitely give them some privacy. I think William. Mm -hmm. No, no, maybe, maybe you shouldn't can leave do it me right alone. Out here. Let's just not cock block him, okay? You Maybe to... you shouldn't leave me alone here, I'm please. Just... Okay. Kish goes over to Kariana. Dragon clank off. Okay. Damn it. I was just I... hungry. <sighs> what is going on? <laughs> I'm I don't just understand. See if they had any more exotic animals. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not does. open right now. You saw the sign. <laughs> it's true. I just. I. Never mind. When will you be open again? I don't know. You don't know? Soon, probably. I just wasn't feeling it this morning. Aha, uh -huh. so you just arbitrarily closed your business on a random day. Uh, probably we... that's not the question. We should probably just leave her alone. So, uh, you weren't feeling it? You weren't feeling yeah. like running the shop anymore? Or... I just not... Just not today. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Hmm. Okay. Well. My, um. You, you don't actually remember the offer. Um, but I had made an offer to buy your shop. Oh, great. Well, you weren't um, real keen on it at the time. Has that changed? I suppose it depends on how much you offered. Oh, boy. Probably a very adequate amount. Well, I remember how much she asked for. Oh, the offer. Um. Volume would recall this, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh. Jer recalls it as 50,000. Is that accurate? Yes. Uh, Sarah recalls it as like 200 and like 200,000 yeah. for the 200, whole shop. 200,000 and a, and a giant cheese log, right? That's what it was. I Fifty thousand like for all the bar. for all the animals, two hundred thousand for the entire shop. Oh, right. Yes. I don't even write anything down. <laughs> but I could be wrong. Also, I, I, could, just be right right now. Now. I could have been pulling so. numbers out of my ass. No, but there was a, a second number between buying all the animals and buying the animals and the shop. Right, right, right. Which makes sense. Like, 200000 for the shop. Yeah. Right. Animals are going to be expensive. Buying a shop that uh, makes consistent money is going to be much more expensive. Well, we definitely don't have that much money. We we don't work. Just I don't think we were actually discussing it like out in the open. Um, balls. I'm like trying to think of what to tell her. Oh right, uh, the amount. Um, actually, I just wanted to um, 
stop by and, and you know, kind of reevaluate the shop and, and think it over and show it to um, my companions here. You see, it, it would be a, a group decision. So we would still need to think on a number. But since you're not open at the moment, we'll just come by at a later time. It's fine. You can come in. Oh, sure. Thank you. Sure. But, uh... Actually, I'm feeling pretty okay at the moment. Let's just go ahead and open. She flips the sign. Come on in. Perfect. You mind if I just pop in the back and... Have a no, look at the go animals. Ahead. That's what it's here for. Uh, telepathically, Loon uh, says to William, Can you detect magic? I just want to point out that I you know Carriana, Carriana can just do that on a whim. Isn't it once a day? Nope. No, it's, it's just magic that you can do. Dispel and levitate are the only things that are once a day. Oh, okay. I think the magic is at will. Warp, 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 warp. I, I actually I... was wrong about our money. We are 4,000 above 200,000. Oh. We're not spending all of our money aside from $4,000 on this. I think it's oh, a great I should idea. be getting paid out from our place soon. <laughs> uh, instead of telepathically speaking to volume, Ariana about <clears throat> I I want you to detect magic on the animals if you could Cariana's gonna nod like inconspicuously has she got a new stock what's in here um no there's not really a new stock it's more or less all the same thing I was saying, it's only been a minus, few days. Minus the owlbear, three blink dogs. And a manticore. And a manticore. Yes. Okay. Uh, and those those cages are currently still empty. Gotcha. Okay. All right, Kariana, what do you see? Alright, I'm looking around. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Um, I believe that one of the suggestions was um, if these were um, I don't know what this would be. Yeah, Loon's just trying to determine if a, a spell has been cast on the animals. Yeah. So she had carry on a detect magic. One of them had been like polymorphed or something. Something like that, yeah. That's what it was. Okay. That's what I'm wondering if they're polymorphed. That only lasts an hour, though. Unless it's true polymorph and we're in a city full of wizards. Which means that it could possibly be a thing. Well, if it's true polymorph, it, it won't probably glow. wouldn't That's give right. off a glow. It's I don't know that anyway. Yeah, I, think Loon, I wouldn't know polymorph. that either. Uh, caca, caca. So, there's as you look around, there's there's nothing like that stands out of the ordinary to you. Nothing's. Uh, I can't really say it out loud. I can. Well, I've. You can communicate with me telepathically. Okay, that connection is. Um, oh, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it lasts like an hour. Unless, unless we just drop it for whatever reason. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Everything seems like it was last time. As far mm. as I can tell. <sighs> Alright. Oh. Did you uh, describe your concern to the rest of us? Okay. About Clara? Or about the animals? No. The animals. Okay. Never mind then. Hmm. 
Are you in the room with us? Yeah, I'm looking at the fishies. I'm interested in starting an aquarium now. That that would be in another room. Okay, Actually. then I'm not in the room. <laughs> All right, Kariana. I, I think we're done here. Let's um let's get the others. Okay. And I'll walk out to the front of the shop and find Clank. Hey. I think hmm? I've made my decision. Oh, uh, what's that? Um Also, do you think we have room to fit an aquarium in the uh Lucy? An, an aquarium? Like you want to keep fish? Yes, it's not that weird. Oh. I mean, it's not as weird as me, you know, going fishing in our bathtub. See? You could go fishing in the aquarium. Also, you don't bathe in a hot tub. Or Kreischer does. You don't? You don't? Well... Oh. Oops. It's just a tub that happens to be heated. Oops. We might need to change that water. It gets changed, Clink. You're saying yeah, a lot of really odd things. Listen, if if you want an aquarium, that's fine. Um, maybe start with just a fishbowl, though. In any case, I um, I don't think I'm gonna buy the shop. In fact, I sort of just want to leave. Fish need at least like five gallons of water. I don't think a bowl's big enough. Depends on the size of the fish in their biome. Even beta fish, actually? Really I do put, yeah, I put like betas in a five-gallon tank, yeah. Yeah. That's the minimum. How much water would a swimming spider need? Mm. A lot. Probably more than the hot tub. Enough to drown a halfling in. <laughs> Jesus, that's vicious! <laughs> wow. That's Got him. Both directions. I'm just, I was just going by, like, level of water height, you know? You know, it's arbitrary measurement. No need to look into that. Oh, yeah, Clank stands up in the pool and it comes up to his waist, and finally he stands up there and it's like six inches over his head. <laughs> the hair. Puff of sure, dry hair going. still sticking at the top. It's yep. kind of floating on top of the seaweed. <laughs> That's where Molly is. Deepest, bluest, my hair is like a shark's fin. It's just walking around, cast water breathing on himself. Just walks around the bottom of the pool. Oh, we have an extra one of those caps. Oh, but then you, could, you couldn't do the fish hair. <laughs> just put a fish... Uh, Wally and... Anywho... <laughs> William is uh, standing before Clara, uh, whatever part of the shop. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any more of that cheese uh, on me right now. I uh, possibly could secure some more. Uh, however, I wonder... Uh, shut up. Uh, if you recall uh, offering me something of a discount at the store... Hmm. During the dream. Yep. That she did say that. I suppose that, yeah, probably. Um I did really enjoy your creamy cheese log. Are you sure you can't provide another one though? Yes, I can. Not at the moment, no. Uh I, I don't have any of that variety currently on me. So uh, Clara, that discount offer. I'm not doing this. That's what I was trying to push him to. Uh, would that discount offer extend to a purchase of the store? I'll tell you what. If. You agree to meet me again 
say for the next month. Every night. You've got to deal. Walk away. Walk away. Run. What would the the extent of that discount be? What do you mean? Well, 20% off? 50% off? 80% off? Call it 25% off. So that would bring the total price of the shop down to 175? 150. For 25% off. If it's 200. So that's 25%. Right, right. Yeah, Jer can't do math. Also, um, I believe we're trying to acquire the inventory as well. I'm not sure if that's not. included. No, why wouldn't it be? Oh, it is? Okay. Well, I think it's best we find the others. Uh, but, yes. 150,000. Uh, Walliam is going to look over to the others, uh, kind of visually uh, assess the, uh, the tone, the feeling of everyone. Like, ah, Clara, I'm sorry, I, uh, a full month of... He begins to rub your hair. going to pat her hand and pull it away from his head. Uh, that's that's simply a, 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 an arrangement I cannot agree to. Uh, there could be so many unforeseen circumstances that might come up that uh, could result in just uh, death or dismemberment on my part or simply uh, interruptions to my... Uh, 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 Somnomantic abilities, uh, <laughs> somnomantic, oh, nyromantic abilities, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid at this time we, uh, we simply cannot agree to such a deal. Uh, I have however, no perhaps in future, said. can y'all be like, uh, well, you did catch the, the last part, correct? Oh, come on, Wally. I mean, I'm trying to keep the, this deal open log. in the future. Oh, there you are. Well, Clara, as lovely as your shop is, it's just... Thank you. It, it's just not the right time for us. Oh. Okay. Well, time. Oh, that's fine. Um, I tell you what, though, I do need... If you're interested, another manticore. I would pay you. Thank you. We'll think on it. Great. William? Are you ready? White, yes. As you as you guys Clara, are talking, perhaps we shall another, do business in future. As you guys are talking, another couple customers walk in. Oh hey. Back for more kitties. Uh, we are, actually. Yes. I got a fresh stock. Perfect. We will take the lot. Fantastic. Uh, sorry, you guys have a, such a great day. Thank you. <laughs> walks away dejected frustrated a little maybe even just a little mad mad you guys really love your cats that's so cute yes did you guys close the door behind you Aww. uh well at least she's not dead although <laughs> loon 
looks at William and says telepathically, At least she's not dead, but maybe it would have been better off if she was. And with that, <laughs> let's go ahead and take our two-minute break. All right. We'll be back, guys. Woo. Crazy. Whoa. We'll be back. See you shortly. See you in a bit. If you want to keep up with our adventures and learn more about this fantastic group, just follow us there on Twitter at Diecast Destiny. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. We are back. And might I just remind you, fuck Wizards of the Coast. Okay. We do not support their OGL 1.1, 2.0, whatever. Whatever they're twisting it as now. The 1.0 was cool, though. We're we're really taking your feedback into account. We're, we we want to say that we rolled a one. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, big fuck you. That's why we also don't use D&D Beyond, yeah. but they're also uh, inferior compared to Foundry anyway, so... Our members canceled our subscriptions. Beat a dick, wizards. Hashtag be D and D be gone. So, yep. Uh, again, we will continue to use. Uh, where did the music go? We will continue to use. Oh. Uh, D and D, for the time being. Um, I believe our, unless something weird happens the plan is to finish out the campaign with D&D &D, and then we'll be switching to Pathfinder 2E so good times alright moving on what would you guys like to do William well, you gonna be a cheese daddy no I don't believe that's the plan uh, I don't think the party has agreed to that it, it large of an outlay of gold. And the ROI I mean, is I'm not putting be myself awful. in that position. You know, Loon did send you guys 160,000 gold. <laughs> not to use on that. It's for like enchanting shit. It's attached. useful spells. And... Certainly. Certainly. But we we declined and sulkily walked away. Yep. Well, some of you sulkily. I'm sulking because I didn't get to make an aquarium. There are other, probably oh. more ethical places to get fish for your aquarium. Yeah. Right, I can fish them for you. Those fish go away. Always? Looks in their bag. Oh, I still got the stinky one. Oh. It's kind of gross. Only, I think only certain ones go bye-bye. Oh. Yeah. Then I might have an aquarium full of magical fish, which is kind of cooler. We'll think on that. Magical stinky fish. Well, they don't all stink. <laughs> I think well, they, those are the ones that definitely don't go away, so, I mean. Yeah, the stinky ones definitely. <laughs> that is true. We'll have multiple aquariums, and all the stinky ones will go into one aquarium that feeds a stinky fish launcher mounted to the underside of the ship. Fish cannon. Yeah, that's good. So, how long? Now. Oh, we. Gonna... <laughs> how long until we got to go back to the tavern? Where Where well... are you guys headed right now? Are you just standing outside the door? Uh, well, I've I've walked away from the shop. Yeah. I have acquired a away. flask of some kind of juice and I have emptied about or like I don't know maybe half of it and replaced it with some vodka well some friggin crystal clear friggin clear like ever clear but even better and I replaced like half of a bottle of like pomegranate juice with like this shit. So, we. 
the, uh, the show isn't until sundown. We've really not got much else to do here except maybe find Tom. Oh, yeah. Has he updated us where he's at? Has he talked to anyone? No, I, I'm fairly certain that he's where we left him. Or at least... The young wizard lodge? What? The young wizard's lodge? Oh. Yes. I thought you said college and I was like, no? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Flub in my throat. <laughs> it's okay. I just can't hear. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe that's where we left him. Um, I think... He could be anywhere by now, though. That was days ago. Not fair. Might as well start there, though. Maybe we can get a drink. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm already pretty solid. I am stone sober and wishing to change that. Yes, let's remedy that. I could very Although, certainly use a drink, yes. You guys want to try my pomegranate? Uh, moon Please. Sign? <laughs> uh, I think I'll just wait until we're at the tavern. Also, we should probably not get completely out of commission, seeing how is this is possibly a cult den. True. And given that some of them know our identities, it is possible that we could end up in trouble. I can fix that when I just pop on my Ugh. mask of many faces. <clears throat> Describe what okay. you look like. Um, uh, I am a dark-haired uh, human lady um, with big old titties and a big old butt. So a good right. S. Gotcha. Just like a perfect big old hourglass. Just voluptuous. Volume taking a sip from the flask splutters a little bit uh, with eyebrows raised. <laughs> Off as <coughs> a cheese log. <laughs> Just like you. Sit back in his pants. No. That's where you keep your cheese? <laughs> where your pockets are, right? No, I generally keep my cheese in my sack. <laughs> there it is. We've won D and D. The end. My ball bag holding. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's that's the kind of session it's going to be today, I guess. Uh, you like it? You're the one who was suggesting that book the other day. It's true. I was not suggesting that book for those purposes. I was simply happy to have found a book I didn't know about, and wanted to add it to my library. Yep, add it to the library for the articles. Yep. <laughs> but anyway. I think it's compatible with Pathfinder. Like... I, 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 I don't think we're going to go that route. Uh, the path for sure. But... <laughs> Take the happy trail. Call it the happy trail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> jinx. <laughs> Well, I believe Clank is right that we should do some strategizing for how we're going to approach this situation. Cecily has clearly, obviously, got the uh, the uh, the disguise down uh, already. Uh, Cecily, your flask back. That is. Thank you, sugar. That. All right then. That is quite potent stuff. Uh, I, I, I feel I myself think I could braced. Use a little bit more. Not not for my palate, no. Uh so, who is going to be our recon reconnaissance team, essentially? 
If our faces are at risk of being recognized, who else can disguise themselves? Or is Cecily going in alone? I do want to touch on something real quick. Kish, you cast Minor Illusion. Yeah, just put a big old mustache on my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Looks like we're wearing, like, the, the, the glasses with the fake nose and, like, the mustache stuff. Just looks like that. Just... Just like a bushy, like cover in my mouth kind of mustache, like. <laughs> Make Sam can... Elliott. <laughs> Given my companions, uh, I don't think that the means to disguise myself and them is uh, something we have. So, I'll be the uh, bait, if you will. I... Mustache disappears. Cast it again. <laughs> I can't really disguise myself unless I'm an animal, so I'll stick with you, Clank. I think we are the most notorious anyways. Notorious? I don't know, I don't think I would call myself notorious. Well, we've been in every major engagement against uh, the slavers and the uh, cult. Right, but I don't. <laughs> Never mind. Let's get a drink. Right. All right. So you all head to get a drink. Is there anything you guys? We're wanting to accomplish during this drinky time. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go up to the bar, to the bartender. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yeah. Can I help you? Yes. Um, we're looking for uh, a companion of ours. He's um about this tall. He's a lovely uh fey gentleman with beautiful blonde locks. We left him here, and I was wondering if you happen to see him around. I haven't seen him for a few days. Oh, do you know where he went off to? In what direction? I haven't the slightest clue. Right, okay. Well, thank you for that. Um, and then I'll just buy Sorry, some Sorry, I drinks. can't be of more help. Um, I had a question. The guide that people use to navigate the city. Sure. Is it possible to find people and or send messages to them via that? It depends. Um, on what? If you allow it. You have uh, to allow that ooh. specific person to be able to do that. And how do you do that? If you could show me in the menu. Tell me sure. what buttons I need to push. He goes into it and he walks you through exactly how to let people do that. And is there a limit? I don't really know, to be honest with you. Hmm. Okay. Clever thinking, Clank. Uh, well, thank you. That's, uh... Sure thing. Oh, do you know how to make a clam slam? I'm sorry. It's it's what? a it's a down below thing, and I'll tell them how to make them. And that sounds like a down below thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is. It's real strong. The, uh, I also bet. don't think they're too well known outside of Braemar. Anyway. Uh, if you could make us some of those, that would be fantastic. What? It's the it's from Bram. Well, we make the Bramarian dirty muscle. Oh, I, I want to try that. And he makes you what essentially amounts to a, a clam slam. You weren't the first. No, they stole it. it. <laughs> you, it's 
isn't a concoction of my making, you know. Oh, I thought you made it up. No, it's just something that my mother told me about. I don't think Clank was there for y'all at the inception of that drink. In Willowdale the first time? If anyone knows how to cl slam clowns, it's Ketrick. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't even... Uh, <laughs> that's fucking true. Uh, it wasn't even <laughs> Willowdale. It was... Um, not Rivers Crossing. Not Aerith. The one on the river between them, where we had to take the, uh, the ferry. Okay. Vinlay, I think. Yeah, with the horse races that you cheated in. <laughs> I did? Well... We technically we okay. Cheated. You didn't cheat. <laughs> we just made a new rule. Yes, <laughs> they just said horse. They didn't say it couldn't be a druid horse. <laughs> technically, Clink, you cheated. Yeah. <laughs> you <were the> <laughs> <infant>. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what? <laughs> I'll 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 take the uh, Braemarian <laughs> dirty muscles and uh, take them to our table. Can I use like the black muscles instead of the clams. Uh, charges you five gold for a round of them. And done. Is there anything else you guys would like to do? I would like to walk a room full of people as to how to enable uh, uh, email. Essentially. Messenger? <laughs> Messenger. Uh, how to add each other to our friends list. Sure. Yeah, so Tom isn't, uh, isn't here, but the bartender was kind enough to show us how to contact him. Oh, hopefully. Ooh. If he found out how to enable it, seeing how he has been making many contacts over the days, he might have thought to add one of us. Also, if we were to add each other, we can uh, hopefully communicate without the use of mana. That would be more Hey, so who wants to reach out to Tom? Real quick, uh, getting into this place, everyone needs to spend a spell slot. Just one? Fun. Oh, at the Wizard's Lodge? Mm-hmm. Oh. I would like to use a cantrip spell slot. Right, can I just use a cantrip spell slot? And we also had that's, used five to get into the library, right? Uh, I believe so. Something like to that. do the wish thing. Yeah, that's why Cecily didn't come in because she was like, "I'm saving my spells." <laughs> oh, then I think I'm down another one. That's why I was like checking. I was like, "Why do I have five marked?" I was like, "Oh wait, we didn't sleep before that." Wait, Not we used that. five a piece to get into Professor Mayorin's section. Yeah. Uh, if I we, need to spend yeah. More. Beep boop. Teacher, you forgot to collect the homework we did. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> I was fun. trying to remember why I had a spell slot clicked off. Yeah. Like, what the fuck did I cast? There you go. But it must have been from that. That. Well, now I'm suddenly down six spell slots. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I took a long rest after our thing because I still had scrying ticked off. Uh, you scryed when they were doing the nonsense at night, right? Yeah, and then I went back to sleep. Yeah. But then you scryed on the Professor Afarin when William's arcane eye didn't work. Yep. Because he ended up in the bathrooms. Yeah, that was, was, yeah, was, that was, that was oh, yeah, because mm -hmm. we're in a different, yeah. whole different place. 
Well, technically, right. I have that. I technically have that fifth level slot back then because I felt. There I... you go. A puny little first level slot. Yeah. I mean, some of us are very. Uh, they value their first level spells differently. Okay. <laughs> well, I can up they charge every one to... of those. So. I wonder why they charged us to get in this time. Maybe Look around, they have is there cover shows? hours? It's probably oh, to prevent that. excessive bar hopping. Think about it. Oh. Extremely powerful wizards flying about the city. Wasted. Flying about the flying city? I'm gonna use the... Um, uh, thingy thing. I still don't know what to call it, trying to think of something clever. Um, nice. to, to try and, like, pink Tom. Okay. Now that happens. Mm -hmm. He actually, so you, you can't even find him, like, on a list of things. There's no list uh. of people that are here. You have to uh, enable it with the person kind of like a code exchange of sorts you don't just have like a yellow page where everybody's number and home address is just listed like the good old days not entirely to an extent there is but can we add each other pretty easily yes yeah, so, uh, between yourselves you guys are all able to add each other okay um, well, should we uh, try sending him a bird to add us on the messenger? That would definitely save me another spell slot. Yeah, do it. When we might need to spend those slots to get into the place tonight, so. All right, I'll write Tom a message on the bird. We are we are in a place right now, right? We're in the the. The raging. Yep. No, we're in the. No, we're in the no, young no, wizard lodge. No, wizard's we went to the one where we left Tom at. Okay. Yeah, because we we're trying to find him. So I get fifty words on the bird. I'll try to explain, uh, pretty simply how to add us on Messenger and tell him he can message us. Mm. Let us know what's add up. Add us on where he's CSM, at. Crescent Shadow yeah. Messenger. <laughs> And the paper uh, birds have been fails. equipped, not a use, so I'm just going to take one away. <laughs> uh, you could also mention that he can just meet us here. Okay, add that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if proximity is necessary for the uh, to handshake, if you will. Okay. <clears throat> Tell him we're at here. Tell him we're go where we're going to be tonight. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. All right. All right. Message. Put his name on it. Hold it up. You do it outside or at the door. I would. Can I reach out the door so I don't get charged again? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> For reentry fees. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> Thinking that it'll take more of my magic. Yeah, that's a good point, though. You write Spice down the note. Expensive. Fold it up and release it out the door. And off it goes. All right. Smile triumphantly and return back to the group. Okay. I sent it. I don't know how long it'll take to get to him, but he at least has an idea of what we're doing where we are. It shouldn't take too long. It's the same city. I mean, we've confirmed he's on the same plane as us, at least. And he's not dead. That too. Well. Perhaps we should just relax and have a few more drinks while we wait. Should we, as I said, get an early entrance into the other place? 
to avoid the uh, line. line. Yeah. What time do you think okay. the line might get started? I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with uh, Crescent Shadow nightlife. Maybe we can stay here for an hour or two, see if Tom shows up, and then head over? Since we mentioned we were going there later. Fair enough. Do you know, while they're discussing, I'm going to look around the bar. Do I notice anybody uh, like at any of the tables at the bar or anything like that that happen to have one of those flyers? Make a perception check for me. Uh, 22. Um, looking around, there doesn't seem to be, like, anyone, uh, but there is a sort of message board, uh, and it has one pinned to it. Um, I'm gonna just kind of, like, lean over to somebody sitting at a table next to us. Hey, uh, y'all planning to go see the Goblin Guzzlers tonight? Um, yeah, actually, I think that we might, we might do that. We were planning on it, uh, yeah, absolutely. I think that would be a great idea. So have y'all seen them before? What kind of show is it? They're pretty okay. They're just, you know. Goblins. Ah. Uh, they rock pretty hard. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, I will say though, it's not exactly. They show a lot of skin. Yeah, they. Um. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, say more right now. They well. Uh, they uh, come out in not much more than just a. Well, a sock. Oh, how amusing. You will. You guys, we have to go to this. And um, the I, I see that it's at the Raging Inn Tavern tonight. Does that place usually get pretty busy? Is, the, is there like a line normally or? Yeah, it can, yeah. Oh, so definitely should show up early. I would absolutely show up early. If you uh, want to get smart. somewhere front row. Right. Well, um... What time do you guys think you're going to go? Maybe we can run into each other. Oh, um... I don't really know. That... That's fair. Well, if you if you see me, uh, flag me down and maybe we'll have a drink together. That sounds great. Cool. Bye. It was nice to meet you. See. Well, you're right. We should probably get there early. It sounds like it's going to be a wild show. Well, yeah. let's do uh, what? I'm too drunk and I can't maintain my um, my disguise accent. <laughs> uh. What time is it now? And I look at my arm at nothing. Freckle past a hair. About that, yeah. It'd, it'd be like midday. Well, we're probably not open. Open yet. Um, those places usually open pretty uh, late. Well. We gotta wait for Tom anyway. So let's just relax, wait for Tom for a bit, and then we'll head back there. Although, Clay, are, are you certain that this is going to be um, connected to the Divine? No. The only connection I have is the use of widely distributed gold leaf paper. Yeah, and it is odd that there's a spell on it. Uh, speaking of that, do we each have to have a flyer? Like, is it something that, like, allows you to get in? Like, like I said, like a password? 
Because if that's the case, we all need to have one. And... I got a ticket. Yeah! I don't think the flyer is an invitation. I think that we'll just be able to show up. Okay. Here's how Most people didn't seem you too could concerned. Ask any with new friends there, Loom. Keeping them. True. Okay. I just had that thought. Thanks. I, I could, but I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to bother them too much. I mean, this is like, you know, like one of the richest cities, you know, in Valanus. They probably just make fancy shit just for the. for shiggles, you know? True. That being said, the enchantment, which, I mean, would have to be cleverly disguised. The simple dispel magic would get rid of it and reveal whatever was under, then anyone in the city would be able to find it, right? There needs to be something more. And getting rid of the enchantment did nothing to the pamphlet, so there's something else behind this. I just don't know what. You suspect Would something it? nefarious. I do. And hopefully, our uh, viewing of the Goblin Guzzler's show will prove that I'm wrong. Maybe a shipment of this gold leaf was intercepted, and rather than used to advertise bands, uh, they were used to entice commoners to join a cult and end everything we know. Well, could these flyers be magic because they used magic to make them? After the transmutation effect, the enchantment would be gone. Ah. It's not a lingering thing unless it will expire and turn back to what it was before. Now, when we dispelled it, we showed that its original form was the gold leaf paper. Someone took the time to put something on it afterwards. Can we figure out it from, like, how we figured out what other magic stuff did? Like, William and Dan use stuff to, to let us know what it does? We could try the identify spell. But, again, I don't think it's going to be that simple. Ah. Even if we are able to identify what spell is on it, and what it does, unlocking it might be harder. But, you're right, it might give us some clues. I actually don't happen to have that prepared today. Well, you are in luck. <laughs> That's two for two. Well, it was calculated. Uh, rip being able to cast that seemed redundant since, you know, you can as well. Yes, it's one of the few things I'm useful for. And one of the less dangerous spells I have at my disposal. For myself as well as others. You're becoming quite the ladies, man. I think you have other uses. That's Lee snorts into her drink. I fear this story right. has grown beyond the boundaries of my control. Cheese log is canon. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, guess I was just mouthing words. Um, no words. There. Gotcha. I was just saying, yep, few. <laughs> All right. So you cast identify on the pamphlet, the flyer. Yes, sir. Okay. I will message you with what it does speaking of message did uh, just for my own edification did you get that message that i sent you yesterday yes and i will get back to you tonight or potentially tomorrow on that 
Okay, cool. Um, no rushes. I just wanted to make sure that yeah. like everything was functioning as it was supposed to. Yes, function is great. So, okay. While uh, during that minute that it takes William to cast that Kish, in front of you pops a message. Po poke at it. <laughs> You don't what? have to use your How hand, Kish. You, you use your mind. Just to put their head into it. They can use <laughs> no, their no. hand and their mind. Make it look as if they're using their hand to. Bolt Just it. think open. <laughs> open. <laughs> okay, you're still doing the hand thing. It's fine. <laughs> it's Kish, remember? No, no, it's it's important. You learn to use the messenger? I added you. What the? What? Like, whoever's sitting next to me kind of like shake them. I, th I think, I think it's from Tom, but it's written in weird language. Mm, let me see. Show volume, because <laughs> volume is. can see it, because it popped up on his screen too. <laughs> It's on mine, too. I wasn't sure if that was an everyone thing. <laughs> it seems to be a coded message. If it pops up in front of you, we'd all be able to language. see it. So. It I gives us... I figured it was, like, facing me. Pass that... Them three dots there. It gives a... Um, a sort of... Uh, like an... Well, like an address, if you will. It's not like just well, a okay. little pin uh -uh. that we have to click on that then like routes us. Nope. Okay. I recognize some of these words. Um. Uh. A journal. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that, but yeah. What's that symbol at the end? But it looks like. There's an address, maybe? Okay, well, let's go there. Yeah, sure. Are you okay? Yeah, I've just got a bad feeling about this address. Oh. Well, what is it? No, it's just part of the message. I don't know. Uh, that's Bad a question. It's fine. It's Tom. It's Tom. I'm. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> well, what? What is the address, though? Oh, give them the address. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna plug it into the map and see what comes up. Is it a home? Uh, is it a business? Yeah, looks like a home. Looks like a big home. A big, big home. Oh. Oh. Diggity. Fucked his way to the top. That's my Tom. Good for him. Now let's go get him. Maybe we can get answers now. You put in the address and it gives you a little guide to get there. After you all are done drinking here, I would like everyone that did partake you please roll a constitution saving throw. Here we go, here we go. Not bad. 15. Not great. 9. Yeah, great. Not saving. Okay, 12. 19. What was that, Kish? I was confirming if it was a check or a saving, and then I noticed that it says on there, so I'm like, oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Con save, yep. 
19. Oh, wait, no, 18. Okay. Loon. Hmm. The Primarian Dirty Muscle was a little strong. It's the moonshine. And he probably had some of my drink, too. Not strong enough to give you a point of exhaustion. But you're feeling it pretty good. When we're out on the street, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop out part of below. Okay. Oh, Buddy? hey, mom. Hi. Hi, Mama needs your help. Okay. Oh, mom, you're drunk. <laughs> I, I wash his face and I'm like, oh, it's a boy, it's a boy, it's a... <gasps> Okay. 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 Can you give me a ride? Yeah, hop on. Link, give me a hand. So, uh, I'm going to do two things for you. First, drink some of this. I will hand her the bottle of boundless coffee. Ooh. Yes, please. Just go ahead and sip. Don't chug. It's coffee, silly. You're supposed to chug it. Mm -hmm. I'll sip from it. <laughs> and then I will just, like, pick up Loon and, like, set Loon on a portamillo. Okay. Like. What do I have to roll for the, for the coffee again? A d20. Just a d20. Come on, coffee. You get coffee. Mmm, this is really good coffee. Just every time you drink it, go ahead and roll that. <laughs> yeah, Loon just sits up uh, in the saddle with the... <laughs> Chug in her hand, like both hands, and just kind of... I will walk next to Loon with like kind of a hand <laughs> on her back, like a, gripping her her legs, so she doesn't just like slide off the side or something. I'm, I'm tall enough to hold your back, all right. On but I'm not. I'm not actually He's huge now. He's a large creature. I'm just like six seven and <laughs> gangly arms. Still like comes up to like your shoulder. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be ready in case she starts to slip to, you know, reaffirm that grip. <laughs> sure. You know, whenever Loon feels herself kind of like shifting, she's just gonna like palm the top of of Clank's head, kind of balance herself. Yep. After the third time, I'll just remove my bandana because I'm tired of readjusting it. I wear it. I'll stand on the other side, just in case. Oh, it's been a while, you guys. Loon. Please make a dexterity check. Okay. Huh. Uh, I got six. Whoever is helping, please make a dexterity check. Which side? Because he's helping one side, I'm helping the other. Can I use one of strength? You, <clears throat> you can each roll. Uh, sure. You can each roll, or one of you can roll at advantage. I'm going to go ahead and roll my strength, just because I know doubling the, the plus six dex would be smarter, but... What roll is it? Just a dexterity. Easy, easy enough. Uh, but yeah, just a dexterity. You can go ahead if you want to. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Easy enough. I'm good. I'm good. Here, j just take, take. Here, hold, hold. That. I hand back the coffee thermos and like, just 
properly hold on to the saddle with both hands. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Onward, mighty steed! Are you doing the whole... No, I just say it out loud because I don't want to let go of the saddle. You guys really gotta stop letting mom drink. <laughs> she actually started that. Not my choice. She's the one that bought him. Portabelle, let mama... Let mama... Relax. It's okay, mom. Day, go, to, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. You guys make your way... Yes? I should give it a call. I'm holding on to her because he just said go to sleep. And I'm like, uh. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, what? He's like? regretting giving her oh, coffee. Oh, yeah, I, gonna, I probably shouldn't have given her coffee if she was going to go to sleep. <laughs> well, if she goes she to sleep could, right before. She go to sleep after coffee. Yeah, coffee makes it takes a while to get time. into your system. <clears throat> yeah, it's cool. I'll just. Close my eyes and hang on. Let uh, Portobello do the walking. We're good. So, a few minutes later, of keeping Loon balanced atop Portobello, who complains at you guys the whole time. There. You arrive at. It's. Practically a palace. It's just so big. Walled. Certainly. <laughs> but yeah. Why do I get the feeling we're going to leave this place owing something to someone? Yep, I have the exact same feeling. Do you think Tom got himself, like, sold as, like, a something? No. I think he you made see it. In... There's a gate in the wall. It is currently shut. But go ahead, Clink, sorry. I think you may have entered into an agreement that we might have to pay off. Can I? I... He's pretty charismatic. Maybe he just made friends in high places. I mean, Can technically... I message him back? If you want to. Tell him that we're here? Yeah. Open the thing. Text back out front. Open the message. <laughs> We're here. Okay. The gate <laughs> opens. <clears throat> there you go. Well, this shirt doesn't feel ominous at all, and I'm just going to sashay in like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and I just visualized that. That's me. Follow. You make it up to the door. It is two very large doors. Big and enough as you... for Portobello? Oh. Big enough for bigger than Portobello. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Red dragon could walk in there. As you as you reach the front, <clears throat> as you reach those doors, one of them opens. And it opens enough to where um you know, you can just kind of see all the way inside. And standing there in a flowery robe, no shirt, no pants, except for like some tight but boxer type situation, barefoot, but with this pink um, feather boa, is Tom. Perfect. And with his arms out wide. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Tom. We got your message. What is uh, this place? It's so great. 
this is well it's where I'm staying right now so oh, nice um did you get yourself a boyfriend it's it's me it's Cecily by the way I'm not Kim Kardashian I know who you are Cecily Come on. Look back between the two of them for a bit, and then, all right, go in. <laughs> Who's... It turns very flowery, and the, the robe kind of billows, and he walks in. Whose place is this? Uh, Sir Lawrence. A knight? No. Okay. Is he the one you met at the Young Wizard's Lodge the other day? Also no. Oh. You made more friends. Have I? <laughs> I have expended my mind. <sighs> you sure that's all that they expanded? Oh, Cecily. <laughs> come in, come in. Oh, thank you, darling. It takes you to Hi, Tom. It's just this very large, um, like sitting room, uh, and he walks up to this uh, fairly plush, uh, red and gold and black couch, and he just plops down in the middle and spreads out, puts his arms on the back. Have a seat. Uh, Loon's gonna carefully slide off of Portobello with assistance if any is given. Kish tries. <laughs> I think it'd be funnier if Portobello just sat down on his haunches and you just fell off the back. It's like, have a seat. And he's just like, okay. And then just sits down and like, Hop up on the couch. Wow. So your new friends have had an effect on you, huh? Such an effect, Kish. Kish. Um. You are so beautiful on the inside. Not something Tom say. Oh. And the outside. Of course. He's talking different. Oh, why are you acting so strange? I've just learned so much. Oh, what have you learned? It's it's I you have to experience it. It's like yes. ayahuasca or something. Experience what, Tom? The expansion of your mind, William. Oh, well, I'm trying to learn more stuff. Did you have to take anything? Understand from things that? better? I don't remember. Of course you wouldn't. Oh, maybe no, we this, uh, maybe this we Sir Lawrence. Sorry, go ahead. Um, actually, no, you go ahead. 
Oh, this is Sir Lawrence. He's a he's a wizard here. Wizard is such an outdated word, isn't it? I mean, if they're, sure, if they're let's from go the coast, that. sure. He's more of a prime conceptualist. You know May we meet means? this gentleman? He's not here at the moment. What does prime conceptualist mean? What isn't it, Clank? What isn't it? Understandable. He stands up. He, he stands up and and walks over and uh, the 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 robe just kind of flows behind him as he walks over to this uh, cart that's just filled with alcohol, and he starts pouring himself a drink. Well, you seem quite comfortable here. Well, why don't you tell us more about this um, experience? What's it like? What have you learned? I really don't know how to vocalize it. You just need to experience it. <laughs> well, you know me, I... I, uh... I don't take strange drugs without, um... Having some idea what might happen. Good. You should protect your body, Loon. Yeah. He walks over very daintily and, like, leans down and holding his drink in one hand kind of leans in for a little hug. Mm -hmm. Rubs your cheek. Oh, that's new. Guys, has Tom always been this touchy? I mean, to Not me. Not in the same way. Not with me. <laughs> it was more energetic. Well, you are you're comfortable here. I don't think that I've been more comfortable anywhere. Hmm. Are, are you still going to come back to the Lucy? Or. Yeah. Are you, do you not want to stay with us anymore? Or, or even go home? He turns. And then he turns back. I. I don't know. Oh. Is there anything magical well, about him? Aura-wise, or just like, on him? Yeah, a lot of stuff around here, actually. But him. Uh, yeah. Uh. However, I will say to your uh, any time that you've used it around him, he has been magical. Good to know. Is it different than the last couple of times I've seen? Yeah. No. Is there any noteworthy activity in the ethereal plane around him? Um, so yes and no, like there's stuff happening. You see, uh, little, uh, like little globules of something kind of floating around gently here and there. Uh, but it's not just around him. It's around everywhere. Mm-hmm. 
are we starting to feel like like oh yeah this place is actually really cool it's really comfortable in here it's nice make a perception check God. any of us that want to or uh just just Cecily for now I got a gotcha. six no everything seems totally chill because I do like have a normal pulse, chill so. Yeah. Well, uh, Tom, if, if you're potentially going to be staying here, we, um, we had a show of some sort we were planning to attend this evening. Would you care to join us? I mean, you are here alone. It's not fun to be alone. It's the goblin mm -hmm. guzzlers. They come out in only socks. Oh, yeah. It would definitely be a show for you to watch, for sure. I'm never alone. Oh, you know what I mean. And he's, while he's right, though. No, we're, we're never alone. Yeah. I think I'll pass. I have never known you to turn down a display of debauchery such as this. You have other plans? I don't think that you would understand, Kish. Kind of scrunches up their no. face and like kind of kicks the ground. I don't think any of us understand, Tom. I always have plans, and yet I'm always free, but... I that don't wish to leave. so deep. Thank you. Well, I'm happy He kisses you on the forehead. Oh. And he offers you a drink. No, no thank you. Hey. Drinks all of the drink he offered you. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Tom with detect thoughts. I was gonna okay. say to spell magic, but yeah. <laughs> all right. You hear nothing but the ocean. Yeah, I was worried that this might <laughs> set up some sort of a feedback loop. Right. Okay. All right. Are you going to just surface thoughts or are you going to go deeper? Well, I think I have to start with surface thoughts, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I initially, you will. Um, so surface thoughts are um, that of great comfort and ease and a hope that you will join him. Yeah, I'm going to go a little deeper. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. We can see your rolls. Okay. That's fine, but thank you for the heads up on that. All right, you are able to go deeper. Not gonna make the joke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm further in. <laughs> I 
I will message you. Whispers. Ooh. These whispers brought to you in part by Foundry Virtual Tabletop that we use because it's awesome. But not at all. But not at all. I mean, oh. they don't pay us, but it's a shout out. Right, to- right. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I was like, "What?" You know, the fact that we use it, so it is has it does bring it to you. Yes. This is an unpaid there you go. advertisement. Pie. The unpaid advertisement. We are not sponsored, but maybe sponsor us. An this appreciation promo. Tabletop RPG music and Mike Mal- Mal- Michael Gelfie Studios. Thank Thanks you. E. Bringing us our ambiance. Ambiance. You have to say it like that because it's fancy. Ambiance. Fancy. Exactly. As they said, uh, je ne sais quoi. It's just trying to walk around the room, get their sweater to do the same thing as Tom's robes. I'm going to wander about and look for anything related to any of the uh, prime deities and whatnot. Okay. Because his use of that word is not something I like. There you go, my dude. That expression said a lot. Um, I... Uh, if this is going to be our p- potentially last chance to see you, I really feel that you should come to the show with us. Uh, go ahead and make a um, persuasion check. That will be like old times. I'll be drinking and probably some smoking and some music. And apparently a bunch of naked goblins. They're wearing socks. Not completely naked. Mm. Whoa. Wow. Two 18s. Two 18s. Same number. Fuck your Plus disadvantage. Life. Plus two. That puts me at a dirty 20. Tom likes dirties. William, it sounds so beautiful. But I'm going to have to pass. <clears throat> uh... We heard that. William is going to uh, turn and uh, just survey the group ahead of him. Um... Ah, well, uh, yes, Tom, I suppose you might know what's best for yourself, of course. Uh, it, uh, where's Cecily in the room? Sitting on one of the chairs. I'm afraid... I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. Oh, I no feel problem. I've been violated deeply. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Huh. Oh, Can I do leave you... you with a blessing before we go? No. Okay, well... Tom, do are do you have access to halfling weed here? I have access to everything that I desire. Now, if you'll excuse me, he turns around and the rope billows behind him and he flows away. 
We should that. probably go. Is he okay? You see no, he's somewhat... not. But we should go. Oh. Somewhat sato vos, I think is the way you say it. Uh, so that only the immediate party can hear me. Uh, something is wrong. Something is deeply wrong. His thoughts were uh, dark and tormented, and I heard some kind of scream for help. Uh. That's enough for in, me. In a, oh! In a deep level of his thoughts. I cast spells. Is that why he said what Did he you? said? The spell magic. Is that um, why he was talking different? He wasn't Tom? On uh, Tom, I'm going to try to end whatever his influencing his... Did he like, leave uh, in enough time to where we can't see oh. him anymore? What level are you casting at? Third's my highest, my dude, so I'm probably going to have to roll some. To watch us live, follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash diecasters. Hey, welcome back. Sorry about that. Who knows what happened? Some we shit. <laughs> Some shit. Some shit definitely went down. Yes, it does. As a friendly reminder, fuck Wizards of the Coast. We do not support them right now. Because they're buttheads. Be gone. And if you're a butthead, we don't support you either. <laughs> yeah, buttheads out there. Yeah. We support no buttheadery. <laughs> Go on, get. <laughs> yeah, you get. All right. So I'm, I'm sure none of you are buttheads. We love you guys. You might be. I don't know. No, Clink. They're great. They're awesome. <laughs> okay. I stand Every corrected. single person that I can't tell who's here because I don't have that open. All, like, four of you. So, uh, before things went down, there was the Dispel of Magic, and there was a Counter Charm cast, and Walium, uh, it was discussed that, um, I don't know exactly when things went down, but it was discussed that you intended to tell the party um, immediately, in an, an attempt to do it quietly. So I'm having you roll a stealth check to see if you are heard. You rolled a natural one. But you were going to re-roll that? I was going to re-roll that, but I was going to verify that if I use my inspiration from last session, I can roll at advantage. Um, yeah. Wait. Uh, did were you the one that got advantage last session? I was yeah, he got the, the vote. The the DM inspiration for being right. yes sad for being sad. <laughs> good. Uh, good. Uh, yes. <laughs> Why is that good? Uh, one, one, one roll. Well, he did too, but Are we're you... lagging. <laughs> so, Who's are you are you going to use your? I guess I'm not really sure what you're. Are you using your halfling luck, or are you using your advantage here? I thought he was doing both. Well, I'd wanted to use. Yeah. Gotcha. To get advantage on the roll, which. Um. Okay. Sure. So then the first roll that pops up will be um, the replace of the one. And then the second roll that pops up will be the advantage that you got. Okay. Why are they not popping up? It's been days since that other one. Yeah, did those show up on anyone else's screen? I, I saw a 16 them. and I saw an 18. Roll. Yeah. Um, Which Jax, is... I don't know what to tell you about the foundry situation. You're not in.
I cannot kick you for the stream. It's okay, I'll figure it out on my end. I got it. Uh, what were the two rolls? A 16 and an 18 plus what? Plus zero. Okay. Okay, so a 19. All right. Okay. Tom doesn't seem to notice anything that you said. Sound of charm. With the old spell. I guess uh, counter charm is really just giving him advantage should there be a saving throw against um, you know, charming, frightening effects. Then spells. Tell us about your performance, Loon. Hmm. Um, Did you read it? <laughs> yes. Just uh, that hmm, was a was a oh boy so many options hmm. oh, three, and two, I... one tom don't leave us <laughs> you're in <ensorcelled. laughs> oh nothing that People i would to major tom anything that i would have come up with it's not gonna be as good as that now I am sad. Oh <laughs> shit! I like the Major Tom one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Uh, Loon uh, slings her Stage instrument volume. from off her back or around in front of her, and uh, plays plays those first few chords of Major Tom. Okay. Sounds good. When did he get military rank? <laughs> Major has nothing to do with military. Oh, it's gross instead. <laughs> okay. And sorry, that song is actually called Space Odyssey. It's Space Odyssey. Yeah, that one. You know what you but it's a great song. Blink. <clears throat> You're informed that Tom is trapped somewhere deep in his mind. Um, uh, how? That's more or less what you were. Oh yes, yes. What what Wally said. Okay, I, I thought it was like an effect from what I cast. I was like a. Shit's getting weird. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Actually, I was no, like, you broke him. Uh, and so you immediately cast Dispel Magic at third level. Did I roll really good? Uh, you did. Uh, let's see. You're making an ability check using your spellcasting ability. He rolled a 27. Yep. He added proficiency. Was not so supposed you're, to do you're, that. Your spellcasting ability does use proficiency. No. No? Your spellcasting ability is whatever your spellcasting ability is. Oh. I guess I misunderstood like, that. Wizard's spellcasting ability is intelligence. Um... So it, it would just be the the roll plus three. Well, four, I think, for my uh, tool. Or does that not apply to that either? Cool. The multi... The, any... All-purpose tool. But that's for, like... Uh, I guess it's only the attack abilities. rolls and DCs. So yeah, no, that wouldn't work. So it's a... Uh, 
Yeah, your your intelligence is a plus three, correct? Yes. Okay, so it's a uh, eighteen plus three. Uh, so twenty one. All right. As you cast and release the spell. Tom stops in his tracks. He turns around. What's going on? Tom! Tom, are you okay? What's... What, what's happening? What's the last thing you remember? Leaving, leaving the bar. We should go. That's the next place we should be leaving is here. Yes, quickly. Let's Tom go. will explain Come what on. we can after we've gotten out of here. I still look like Kim Kardashian, by the way. I'm gonna <laughs> take Tom's you hand. Luna, are you continuing your performance? I assume uh, you don't. No, not, not if he appears to be you know, normal. Okay. A about as normal as Tom can be. You know, normal for Tom. Sure. Normal for Tom. Yeah. Normal. Oops. There's supposed to be two of them. One quick moment. As you take his hand, okay. <laughs> it's just drawing out the suspense. <laughs> All right. What's gonna happen? Well, uh, let's just. Go ahead and push forward. As Loon takes Tom's hand, Tom begins to follow and he looks frightened, but then his face loses all expression. I'm sorry. But you need to leave now. What just happened? Uh... Um... Fuck, oh, where is it? What are you guys gonna do? I, I wanna kinda like... Seeing his face change like that. Uh, smack him in the back of the head with <laughs> a stunning strike. Okie dokie. There it is. Um. Hmm. Could try something. The twenty-two oh, I don't know hit. If work. I have a thing I might try. Now is your moment. I'm gonna cast polymorph on Tom and just trans like into like a. Something that can't move fast. Um, a newt. Pretty sure newts can run fast. Newts not move fast? <laughs> they're, uh, they're maybe they can. <laughs> they're real scurry. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe the newts that I always come across, like in the Northwest, they're kind of slow moving. Maybe those are salamanders. Let's go with um, snail. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going to transform them into a... Like a, yeah, like a mystery snail. A snail. Alright, if she does that, then I do yeah. not hit him. <laughs> well, you do. Oh, You're both doing well. it at the same time. Okay. I was gonna do um, it after Kish did their thing, but... Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, 22 definitely hits, of course. 
Okay, and then it's a stunning strike. So it's not doing damage. Okay. What does it do damage regardless? I forgot how that worked. I. I don't. I don't want to do like lethal damage or attack. I just want to knock him out. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't have to do lethal damage. I'm pretty sure it still does damage though. Okay. Sorry, Tom. Uh, go ahead and roll for your damage. At least I rolled kind of low for that one. <laughs> Six. Okay. Whoops. All right. He needs to make a constitution saving throw. Why does it keep... Oh, my God. Why does it keep rolling two? Okay. You cleared your cash? He... I don't know. He failed the con save. All right, go sleep. Well, he's not asleep. He's just stunned for six seconds. Basically. Yeah, but <laughs> I want to pull that damn robe off of him. Oh, you think it might be the robe? I don't know. Oh. I just don't like it. Same. <laughs> Same. Stunned. But I can't move. Can only speak falteringly. I don't think saves. Advantage. Okay. So he needs to make a wisdom save. Roll one die, Jesus. Oh, natural one. He is a snail. He's a snail. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna pick him up and put him in a little pouch. Okay, sounds good. No one else. <laughs> How long is he gonna be like that? Sure. Or an hour, as long as nobody smacks me. Uh, Luna and Portobello are gonna make their way to the door. Get him out of here. Gotta go. All right, snail time. We're gonna go on a ride. Okay. As you guys Booty get to scooty. the door, it is open. You guys are able to leave. Lucy. Did we get him back to the Lucy or what where should we go? I think at this point, um going to a show is probably not going to be at the top of our priority list. I think we should probably head back to Aerith and the Lucy. We at least need to figure Fish out odds. what's wrong with Tom. Yeah, we really do. Whether it's this place or some what either yeah, we need to get him out of here. Okay, to the teleportation circle. Uh, the 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 place that we're at right now um, is this a crowded, busy thoroughfare? Is is it? No, no it's Is there not, enough it's... space where I think I can uninterrupted cast teleportation circle? You don't have to cast it. There are permanent ones that we can just go to. He's also trying. I, I get what he's doing. He's trying. It might to, be faster to cast it though. Exactly. Instead of going to it and you know, anybody seeing us fast walking to a teleportation circle just to like, boom. Yeah. It depends on how far address. away we are from the other Do one. We have a meeting. They don't. It's not our business. Nobody ever seems to take any mind of us anyway. They all kind of everyone kind of ignores us because we're just like, you know, whatever they call us. Um, so, yeah, this is not, this, it's a not busy part of town, being residential, so. It, it looks like there's plenty of room, and the, the road here is fairly wide, and, yeah, there's 
expanse of space here. Well, shall we depart? Quickly? Does everyone want me to cast this? I mean, if you want. Go for it. Go for it. I'm saying you didn't have to spend that spell slot, but if we want to be, um, I don't know words. Fast. Expedient. Expedient. That's the word I was thinking of. Like, exactly the word. Are you casting it? Yeah, did that did not pop up? Shit. No. It's okay. Uh, just uh, fix that. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There. So, yeah, I was the next minute. reducing. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was just saying that I was uh, uh, reducing my inventory of Port de Salut by one uh, component. Because that's my spell component for this spell. Yeah. Port du Salut. Gotcha. Uh, great. So for the next minute, you gather your cheese and your chalk and you do what you do. While this is happening, you can feel all of you from that house some sort of sense of anger. And the house almost darkens. But the teleportation circle is up. I want to get away from this house. It's a mimic house. Oh, God! Are you all going through the circle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would like to leave. I for sure would. I'm like, I'm getting Tom the fuck out of here. Yep. You all enter the circle and you appear where? Aerith was the destination, right? Yeah. Because that's where Lucy is. Yep. Yep. And Dres might know something if. And Aerith. Safe, seemingly, for now. Hopefully. Probably? Certainly. Uh, do you think Driz might know something about this? Possibly. I mean, we can ask him. We should make sure to give him some air. It's not a bag of holding. Have you ever had a bag put over your head? It's a snail. He's fine. And I just kind of like peek in the bag for a second. <laughs> just check. It's fair. Oh, he's fine. And then, yeah, letting some air in. Or recirculating the air at least well. Because you might not be suffocating with a bag over your head, but it feels like it because the air around your head gets warm. I mean, worst he could do in, in snail form is panic and just, like, pull up into the shell. I'm scared. <laughs> we should be ready to spell whatever effects on him again, as well as remove any new uh, garments. Uh, strip him naked, yes. Right. Or maybe keep playing your song this time. That seemed to help. Um... Yeah, I guess. Maybe, maybe the thing that's got him doesn't like music. As we walk along, I will uh, continue to play my Saturn. Is that a thing you have to cast? It's an action. I can start a performance that lasts until the end of our of my next turn. So 
Uh, I was just asking, is there, I didn't know if there was a certain limit on that. Per day. No, it just, it just says that I have the ability to do it. It doesn't say like once per day or anything like that. As long as she <laughs> keeps spending an action every round. Uh, That's fine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, will it matter that he's a, because he's a snail and in a bag? Well, um. I mean, even no, if he has been... the same languid personality, he, he's a snail. He's just going to lay there and be all like, I'm a snail. Well, any free, uh, friendly creatures within 30 feet of me have advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed while I'm doing this, so it's not going to hurt. In case, you know, one of us get targeted somehow by an angry house I suddenly in another feel city. so comfortable. That house over there looks nice. Well, I'll keep playing this, but we should probably, um, we should probably check on him before we bring him aboard the Lucy. You guys headed straight to the Lucy? And yes. I don't know where else to go. I'd say we'd be making a beeline for sure. It doesn't take you too long. You eventually get there. Okay. Let's, um... Let's unsnail him and, and see if he's still all, you know, brainwashed. You sure you want to do this outside with, like, people watching? Well, we don't know what kind of spell this is. I mean, we do we could really want least, to bring it inside our home? We could home? at least take him up on the deck. Sure. That way we're just not, like, standing around just being all like, Hey, we're just gonna strip this guy naked real quick and, like, cast a bunch of spells on him. Don't worry. Move along. Should we make a plan for who grabs what off him? Well, no. I can hold him. He's only wearing a robe and underwear. I and a boa. Think it's Feather okay. boa. It might have been the boa. But the boa could take the robe if you try to grab them both. So I thought we should try to, like, coordinate. Well, I've got to keep playing, so... It's just the fastest, and Clank's probably the strongest, so... Take you Tom out of the bag and sit the little snail shell down on the deck. So if Clank grabs him by the torso, get the robe off, and then maybe Kariana can grab the bow off? Just in case it was that? Possibly. Question. Okay. If I grapple a snail... I'm not grappling a snail. And then they release the spell. Is the target still grappled? Um, uh, seems like a check. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Maybe just stand above him with your arms, like in a. So that way, when he pops up, he's just already, and then he just. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be ready. To... I'll definitely be ready, but. But we gotta make sure we can get the robe off him. I was hoping the check would be against a snail and not a full-grown elf. I don't know if he's fey. <laughs> fey, half elf, whatever. Person. I mean, he's a scrawny little guy. I mean, what else, you know? There. His preferred thing in combat is to just go invisible and tuck himself in a corner. But he's not I'm a aware. fighter. Oh, he might do that. I'm aware. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
In I preparation, I would like to take out my Lantern of Revealing. Just go ahead and place that on the deck next to where we're doing this. Okay. What does that do for you? Uh, now, I believe that reveals any invisible creatures within its radius of light. Let me just go ahead and blah, blah, blah. blah. In a 30-foot radius, uh, bright light in 30, dim light in additional 30. Invisible creatures and objects are visible as long as they are within the light lantern's bright light. So within 30 feet of the lantern, they are invisible, regardless of whether they go invisible or not. Okay. I want to prepare by standing behind the snail. <laughs> I'm like preparing for him to be tall like Tom, so like aim in there. Okay. Alright, is that ready? Ready. I draw out the spell. Okay. Clink, you're attempting to still grapple Tom. Alright. Go ahead and make uh let's call it an acrobatics check. I use a strength instead. Or athletics. Well, because it's more of a movement based thing. Mm. Uh, it's changing from a snail into a full on humanoid. Uh, yeah. Thanks. So you're 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 kind of having to maneuver to grab him. I was the wrong choice for this. But you're also pretty strong. So if you do manage well, to catch him, you can... See, there you go. God. Woo! It may say. Okay. You do still have Tom by the wrist. Uh, anyone else? What were you... What was, like, the planned thing? Go ahead and... I was going to nice. jump up and slip the robe off. And I was going to get the boa. And Cecily gets the end. <laughs> okay. It's the pants I right there. I would like each of you then to make, uh, as well, an acrobatics chick. Okay. Or sleight of hand. Up to you. Ooh. Okay. Twenty-three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I actually supposed to be going for the? Are underwear? you not going? Are you? Are <laughs> no, you I wasn't. Go <laughs> I thought we were just doing the the boa and the thing. I figured uh, I, the underwear I, was I, just a joke. I, I would okay. like to, to to flash of genius that twelve into a fifteen. By the way, how? Uh... Whip it good. He's I'm gonna, the one grappling. He would be able to be like, oh, go that yeah, way. I would like to, to maneuver said person to make it easier for them. Okay, sure. Sounds good. So, you are both able to get the robe off and the bow off. He's left standing in the middle of wherever you guys are right now. Just outside the Lucy. On the deck. We're on the deck of yeah. the Lucy, so... On on the deck of the Lucy and nothing but his boxers. Is that all everyone's doing? For now. Uh, I'm gonna shout to Wally to dispel the effect. I'm just we don't, playing my we little counter charm song. We don't know if he's still under the influence of anything. We should probably just from there, check in first. Fact, from there, let's go ahead and roll some initiatives. Okay. I'm sorry, what? Oh. Damn it, I should have taken his underwear off. <laughs> oh. Burn him off. It'll be fine. We're fine. Hey. Natural 20. Go ahead and take that inspiration, my friend. Ah, ah seven. The blessing from Cord. <laughs> you don't know that, but it probably is. Oh, no. Reroll. Reroll yeah, okay, seven, though. Can that Jeez. does that work for initiative? Hey. 
Nat 20. Uh, yeah, an initiative is still an ability check, so he can. That mm -hmm. literally made it into the opposite. That's crazy. Ridiculous. Damn. Okay. Take Once your inspiration as well, Kariana. Just inspiration remind, as well, indeed. Reminding everybody. Loading up fun nice. inspo. You're welcome. Uh oh. Are we nice. in for a hell of a time here? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, probably the bad probably. version of that statement. <laughs> I feel like this probably oh, isn't no. Tom. I mean, we we confirmed it, was it via for a minute. mind reading. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. So, at the top, we've got Kariana. What would you like to do? The robe has been pulled off. You have the boa in hand. Tom is standing there. Well, the robe wouldn't have been pulled entirely off unless um, Clank you release. Because he, he has a hold of his wrist. Can I rip it? Just. Not in that moment. You can soon. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get cast my once a day dispel magic at third level. If okay. it will go. Okay, there it is. Okay. On top. Sure. Uh, go ahead and make a spellcasting ability check. Remember, it's just your spellcasting ability that you're using. Remind, remind me the numbers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? It's been a while since I've done that. I don't have a, a micros for it. What is your spellcasting ability? What do rangers use? Wisdom. So it would make just a be a wisdom. Make, yeah. make a wisdom check. Can I okay. use my inspiration to re-roll that? Uh-huh. Still not as good. Okay. Okay. Nothing seems to happen. Kish, you're next up. What would you like to do? Oh, boy. Uh, so I'm holding on to the robe. <laughs> um... Which I guess is still partially on him, right? On his on his arm. Yeah, on his arms. Um. Hum. <laughs> so he obviously like clearly we went into initiative. He doesn't look like Tom in the. Did we get that? Uh, figure if we go into initiative, we get the impression that it's yeah okay. Uh. I have to let go of the robe if you could it's also around his wrist. Him. I could switch to grapple him, and if you're going to do something with the robe, then okay, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna jump to that. See that? Like, try to try to grapple him around the torso, and try to like get around the arms. So when Clank lets go, if he lets go, they'll be down at his side. I can like tighten my grip. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, good. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, athletics check. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use my inspiration <laughs> that I just okay. got. That's slightly bad. That looks like what happened to Kariana, where it's like, 
Yeah, you get two more. <laughs> I'll take so it. 13. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, is able to... He's able to, uh, as you go to grapple him, move out of the way, and you just miss completely. Okay. I think that's all I can do right now. Yep. Loon, you're bonus up. Bonus stuff requires a attack first, yep. Oh, boy. This is, um, this is tricky. Go to sleep. What the fuck? Right. Okay. That was a lot of dice. It was. Yep, it sure was. Loon's patented combat ending spell. Yeah. Yeah. It works so often. Except right now. You hear him begin to say something. Some kind of arcane something. Anyone have counter spell? Yarp. Oh. You're gonna counter spell. I do believe I am. Do it up. What level are you casting it at? Sixth. Okay. I hope that's good enough. Oh my god, what if it's Alphalos? Go ahead and make a... Um, go ahead and make your spellcasting ability check. Make an ability check. So intelligence, right? So it's just make an intelligence check. A halfling one. Rough. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> Almost used my portent for that, but I was like, my portent's not very good right now. It's so definitely better than that, yeah. As you attempt to counterspell him, he simply smiles through the words that are coming out of his mouth. He is not there anymore. Not there, not there, or like invisible, not there. Oh wait, his uh, Clank's lamp would would let us know if you just turn invisible. Yeah. Not there then. Not there. Not there. Did he have any somatic components that he was doing? Nope. No. Oh. Verbal only. Fuck. Fun. Fun. What? What? What happened? Do we still have his garments? Yes, you do. Cecily, can you scry upon him? Um, I can try, uh... He's probably gonna know that we're doing that. Or we're at least gonna attempt it. Would... something he... of his help... something of his... like a hair... 
I mean, you I'm pretty for. Yeah, hold on. I saw that line down. And I'm okay, pretty check, familiar check. with them. Yeah, good. but it makes it easier if you, you've got something of his, right? Like a hair? Oh, yeah, I've messaged you. Do you have anything of his? Not on me, you know. I mean, we can look down below. He probably has something, you know, in his room. I mean, these clothes, this, this, these garments were his, right? They weren't. They're not technically his. Or he was just wearing them, they but might they're have... not his. Yeah, they might be the thing that belonged to the thing that has him. But, uh... Kish will reach under their hat and pull out uh, something, uh, rolled up something, and he'll offer it to Cecily. Something he licked, maybe? Okay, Kish, I don't think I'm... You know what? Actually, I do. I do want to know why you have something in your hat that Tom had licked. Well, it's a joint, right? You guys lick them to... To seal him? Yes. So would this work? Where did you get that? Did you steal we his gotta stash? gotta hurry, right? Gotta like just looks around. Match the joint. I'm gonna this use this as a focus and then I'm going to smoke this in front of you. Okay. To tell you, I'll teach you a lesson about how stealing is bad. Kind of mumble something under their breath. Even though those two things are completely unrelated. Um. Yeah, while Cecily is doing that, uh, Walliam is going to turn to Clank and ask, Did you... Did you feel anything chronologically when Tom disappeared? Did I? No. Chronologically? No. I felt... What did I feel? <laughs> you felt... Uh... Time had progressed very slightly after Tom's disappearance. <gasps> oh, time stop. That means he can't be that far away. Scry, scry! I can't, Kish, hold on! I am gonna run down <laughs> uh, into Lucy's mansion. That means... I can track him. All right. So, it's going to take 10 minutes for you to cast your scry. Does take a long time. Yeah. Ah. In the meantime, what is everyone else doing? Loon, you uh, mentioned you're going down into the Lucy. And Clank, you mentioned you can track him. Well... If he didn't teleport and he just stomped time, I could follow him away from here, right? Uh, what are you? How are you gonna do this? Uh, I'm gonna just cast. Generally, it's like survival, or you got some? Yeah, you got some guy. Enhance ability on okay. Kogat and give him Owl's Wisdom, giving okay. them an advantage on Wisdom checks. Wisdom checks. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to use the garment mm -hmm. and have them find them. Sniff them out, boy. Sure. And we're going to get going. All right. Make a perception check or a survival check for Kogot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that advantage. Boop. 20. 20. He is able to 
Smell a trail. I'm going to urge everyone to come with me and head in that direction. Okay. You head in that direction. Uh, except for Loon. Loon, what are you up to? Uh, I go downstairs and I frantically shout for Fry. Fry? Fry, I know you've been hiding in here. Where are you? I really need your help. Are you looking just everywhere, just running around? Uh, at first level, yes. Okay. So the, like, dining area, kitchen. Make a perception or investigation check. Perception, because it's higher. Oh, 27. Nice. Okay. As you're running around... You're pretty sure you don't see him anywhere. He doesn't seem to be on this level. I'm going to listen for a sneeze. Okay. You begin to wait and listen. While you're listening, what is everyone else doing? Just following Clink? I'm yep. still on the deck of the Lucy... Um while I'm doing my scry thing, and then that way when Loon comes up, I can like relay something from something, maybe. Oh, and you can see where we're going. Or where we're going to be going to. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't if I I would have to be able to recognize the surroundings where he is, like as if I was looking or just in, in my peripherals. So it would have to be somewhere I'm pretty familiar with. Because it won't just track, like, where his location is. It won't tell me that. Yeah. But, like, so if he walks past, us, like, walks past something within, you know, within 10 feet that I could potentially see that I recognize that I would be able to tell you where he is. Otherwise, I'd just be able to, like, say, maybe he's still in Aerith or maybe he's in Crescent Shadow. Or maybe. Okay. Well, if, uh, I'll try to send you a message with my earring if we stop and find him then, just to update you keep in the loop. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm going to run up, catch up with the others. Sounds good. I would, uh, I would like to go full tiger for this pursuit. Okay. So, me and the homie got a 40 speed, if that matters. Okay. Sounds good. You're on a familiar I'll go path. with you. Oh, there they go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. What are you doing, William? Uh, I, I was going to join in the pursuit, but I uh, suppose I will just return to watch Cecily cast her scrying. <laughs> okay, sounds I good. I can't keep up. This is more interesting. I probably should have picked are... up a little one. Ariana, what are you doing? I'm going to run with... Um, Am I able to wear up? Or because I've already done a thing? Uh, Yeah, you can wear up right now. Okay, I'm full on wearing up. Okay. Are you able to keep up at that point? I think my speed is still at the 30, so I'll still be behind. But I'm oh, at least... Are you going to keep going? Mm -hmm. Is a okay. wolf at 30 or is it 40? My thing didn't change. Wolf should be 40. That being said, if you do go full wolf, do you have magic armor yet now? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we, we've made... I'm pretty sure we... Uh did a thing even if i didn't i'm pretty oh wait no that might have changed i would have totally it's fine i just won't undo it until i have clothes smart okay smart okay you can borrow my sweater did, did you go full wolf or did you go oh, oh full uh, full i'm not hybrid okay gotcha okay Uh, just so you guys know, you are able to use the polymorpher feature uh, with the three dots at the top. Click that. Ooh. You click polymorpher, and then you choose the thing that you've turned into fully. And it adjusts and will... your stats and stuff. It yep. says I can't access it. Same. I, I do not have permission. Yeah. Actor permission is lacking. 
<laughs> okay. Oh. Well. Under lack of permission. To can stay. I please, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get permission. Damn it. Close. Apply. Okay. Dragon. I might need to relog. It's giving me the yeah. same. Yeah. That's okay. But not course. important. Uh, yeah. We'll just move on with it and fix it later. I'll make a note of it. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, when at forty, you're able to keep up. So no big deal there. However, it's taking on a familiar path. One that you definitely recognize. Yeah. Either we're tracking ourselves where we came from, or he's making a beeline back to the teleportation circle. You are headed, indeed, back to the teleportation circle. The scent gets Realizing weaker that? Can I... as you all go along. Uh -oh. What would you like to do, Kish? I was going to say, if we realize we're heading back there, uh, kick it into high gear. Like, instead of keeping up with them, go ahead. Because uh, I go 60. <laughs> You're going to go full kish. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. All right. You can go ahead. Okay. Loon. Looking through the uh, thingy, the Lucy. Go ahead and make one more perception check. As you, or you are listening for, you don't hear anything on this deck, or on this uh, level. Are you going to search elsewhere? Yes, I'm going to go um, down a little first. Okay, go ahead and make a perception check. Twenty. Okay, you run down a level. you holler out or you just kind of listen um yeah I'll, I'll call out first and then i'll listen fry okay. look here let's see the level you're on really quick workshop level goth level right right gotcha You don't hear anything for a moment, but then uh, you hear uh, a and then just in front of you is Fry. He just appears. Ah, right. Um, Hi. Did you give Tom some of your spores? No. Okay, uh, I need some. Um, sorry about this. It's going to be quick. I'm going to kind of pull his little... <laughs> we basically put like a shower cap on him to help try and stop the, <laughs> the spores. So I'm going to carefully like try to pull it off and like scoop some of the spores into a vial. Actually, I'm going to need you to make <laughs> a sleight of hand check for that, please. Okay. Um, seven. As you go in. Uh, some of the spores spill out, and nothing seems to happen other than the flickering from the torches that are around you stops. But the two of you are still moving. Oh, crap. Okay, I better slow down a little. I'm going to try and get a little scoop into the vial a little bit slower this time. Are you just doing the same exact thing? Yeah, yeah, just taking the, the vial and, like, scooping it down into the... the sp oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. Scoop of the vial into the spores. Or try and collect them. Okay. Um, you're able to collect them. However... Oh, okay. Uh, you're able to collect them. However... Many spill out. Darn. 
Okay, um... I'll be back. Clean? Clean this up, could you? Okay, I love you, bye. <laughs> oh, there he goes. No, hey, you guys are still stopped. You're both stopped. Oh. He's just sneezing. Well, I'm gonna go back up to the deck. Okay. You get back up on the deck and you look and and you see uh, Cecily and you see William and you see uh, anybody that is out and around is perfectly still. I would like you to roll a d4 for me. Okay. One. What do you want to do? Um, well, they're all just frozen for me, right? Yep. Uh, I'm going to tuck a vial of the spores into um does volume have like a little breast pocket or anything uh, i i don't believe his robes do but he's probably got uh large hip pockets on his robe for tucking his hands into authoritatively okay. does he have anything in his hands currently no all right i'm going to gently place the vial in his hand and, you know, just kind of like carefully wrap his fingers around it. Okay. And I think I'm going to cast a lie upon myself and um, try to catch up to the others. I hope. Maybe. How fast See. can you fly? 60 feet. Base? Uh, yeah, it gives me a 60 base uh, fly speed. Here, I'll cast it. Badoop. Okay. Yeah, so you can move pretty fast. You can go, uh, you know, 120. Assuming you use your action and your movement. Okay. Good to know. So, you fly. You continue on your way. Roughly one to one and a half minutes after you actually get up there and uh, put the vial in his hands, everything comes back. The world starts moving again. And suddenly, you are flying over Aerith. And you have people looking up at you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to yes. do... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, while I'm up here, I'm going to do a quick survey. Make a perception check. Ten. Okay. Um, I will... Actually, you know what? You went down before they left. And when you came back up, no one was around to really tell you where they went. Yeah, that's why I would have had to survey. Okay, so you're staying right there at the place. Just up. Okay. Uh, okay, in that case, roll a 10. You don't see them anywhere. Shit. Uh, but they start moving below you. I'm gonna go back down to Cecily and William. Uh, where, where did they go? Uh, Williams. After Tom. Yeah. Uh, that direction. And he points in the direction they ran off in. 
Uh, that way, what the hell is this? <laughs> Looking down at the vial in his hand. Oh, that's time stop. Fascinating. Yes, uh, just sprinkle it on yourselves if you need to use it. I'm staring intently into my little mirror while I'm doing this whole scry casting thing. You're, you're almost done. Meanwhile, Kish. Yes. You were able to get all the way to the teleporter. Mm-hmm. There you, there's no, no sign, sign of him. him. Look around. Just in case. Make a perception Maybe check. Maybe he didn't have enough mana. Clink. Kogat begins to slow down. The trail is... I mean, it's pretty much gone cold. It was getting weaker and weaker. Uh, may I attempt? I believe as a tiger, I have keen sense. I might be wrong about that. I don't remember if tigers have keen sense. Sure. Uh... Okay. You do. Yes, Hearing I do eat smell. Keen smell. Okay. I guess he had advantage oh. already. So you're going to be. It's going to be disadvantage. But your advantage, it's going to be a straight roll. Okay. And. Nothing. Kobat's right. There's nothing. Kish, uh, looking around. I mean, there's there's no sign of him. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Pinch my earring and try to get a message to Cecily, because I saw Mr. Stormcaller Yari do it when he wasn't looking at people. <laughs> so I was like, oh, do I have that wrong? Um. Yeah, try to send a message to Cecily. It's like, I think he, was, he headed to the teleportation circle, but he's not here. Uh, any luck? Can I respond to those? Yeah, I, I think so. so. Let me pull it up. Do, do, do. Blue crystal earring. Oh, wait. Uh, this just doesn't tell me the spell itself. It's message. I'm pretty sure you can respond to it, because... I don't actually believe Cecily was within range. Yeah. Yeah. If it's message, I was you have to yeah. be within 100 feet. Then, yeah, if, if we want more than 100 the, feet... you have I, to know the direction. I, I would know where the direction you were in. Okay. So, yeah, but, you yeah. say that, Cecily, you don't hear anything. Not hearing anything back. I'm going to head back, try to find Clink and the rest. Let him know what I found, didn't find. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you guys are able to meet up. And during that time, Leslie, you finish your spell. Your eyes go dark. Everything goes blank. And then you appear again. Your vision at Tom. And you see him sitting, drinking, comfortably. On a familiar red couch. Seemingly not a care in the world. Does it seem like he ever left? Like, is he just in Because that was fast. What is he wearing? Uh, he is wearing only his boxers. Okay, so it is the same Tom. So it's possible that the house itself has its own teleportation circle. Unless he, like, really just fucking... Well, how long were we, like, we stopped for? Just a couple minutes? An hour?
Talk to William about that one. Oh, well, William's right here, so. He's, he's like back at the house, like just like in his skivvies, like he was when he left here. But how long, how long was this time gap well, that we're talking about? Could I roll like an insight or an arcana check or do I just know that? Um, with your, with that, you would probably just no uh it was literally only um a few seconds barely perceptible which is why literally no one else noticed you only noticed because of your feet sorry i vaped and it hurt uh uh, Cecily, it was just a few seconds. It seems almost impossible that he would have gotten back there this quickly. Then that means he teleported right from here. He didn't need a circle, he just left. Which means he didn't have to go to a circle. He could just go where he wanted to. But he looks like he's happy as a sick lamb again, just sitting on the couch with a drink, like half naked, like, I mean, normal. So, but he's acting like nothing even happened. Like, he's not like perturbed in any way. He's just just enjoying himself the way he was before when we got there. I'm going to inspect the area on the deck uh, where Tom was. I don't notice any of Fry's spores, do I? Make an investigation check. Twenty-two. It's pretty good. You do not I'm expecting that. Oh, that was pretty good. Uh, but you do not notice any surprise spores. Well, the only spell I know that would have affected time in a way where he could get somewhere quicker than the rest of us would be Time Stop. But that's just... That's just my knowledge. I don't know for sure if that's what he did or if, or if he did, in fact, just teleport away. Either way, we know where he is now? Yeah, I mean, it looks like he's back at the that fancy house in Crescent Shadow. Hmm. Well... We should probably get with the others and, um... Try to come up with a plan. Well, yes, uh, uh, reconvening would be a good idea. Uh, how do... Uh, I mean, we will need to rescue Tom. But we need to mount an assault on some sort of magical fortress in a floating magical city. That doesn't seem like a good plan. No, it sounds like a terrible plan. We'll need some way to end the effect on Tom. I mean, dispel well, you guys are magic talking. seemed to work for a second, and then it like wore off and then came back. Well, you guys are talking. 
the rest of you, I assume, make your way back? Or is there something else you'd like to try? I've met up with uh, Kish at the, the portal, the teleportation portal. Oh, you meant like halfway between those spots you yeah. stopped and... Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let you know, I got to the teleportation circle, but no one was around. Well, you know, that we're looking for. I lost the scent a few ways back. I'm thinking we were following our initial trail. Well, let's go see if Cecily found something. She maybe finished her scrying by now. I, my earring's not working yet. I think I'm too far. Right. Or maybe I do have to see him. Maybe it's how it works for me. <laughs> eventually make back. your way... Eventually make your way back to the ship. Everyone is there. Talking. Okay, so you guys aren't going to like this. What'd you see? Uh, he's back at the house. How? Ah. Oh. I think he just teleported straight from here. Oh, looks like Clank. I think you're right. I think he paused time somehow. And then just boofed straight away. Like, I don't think he bothered with a with a teleportation circle or anything. Right. I mean, he seemed like he was happy, but that's also the weird thing. It's just he seemed completely unaffected by the whole thing. He didn't seem happy when Clank and Loon were able to get whatever's happening to him to stop. Yes, I dispelled the effects for a moment, and he was confused and unaware of what was going on. He was kind Wall of scared. Wallium was, uh... It's like he took one step, and then it came back. All right. You can't just leave him like that, right? I don't think there's anything we can do about it, if he can just teleport away at a whim. There's got to be something like that we can do. He's obviously being held against his will. Correct. But should we go to one of the most influential people on the Crescent Shadow, break into their home, and try to abduct someone again, I don't think it's going to go well for us. Hmm. We're going to need a plan. Uh... But I should probably go clean up the mess I made. You made a mess? Uh, a little mess, yes. Can you help cleaning up? Just hope it wasn't in Clank's workshop. Oh. No, no, it's fine. No, of course, no. Anywhere on the ship but there, it was there, no. Honestly, it's probably, like, the safest place to make a mess like that. It's there. Waterproofed the floors I for a reason. so much done! <laughs> right. But yeah, I'll, I'll go down and uh, carefully clean that up. Go ahead and just make a sleight of hand for me. I guess she doesn't need help. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> okay. It's not terribly difficult, uh, given the circumstances that it's in. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Like, is there like a, a a drawstring or pull string on the little shower cap that I can use to close it, or do I need to like just tie it closed? I 
I'm scooping everything back into it. Uh, if you're gonna, well, so is it gonna be on him? Not until I empty it. Okay. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Uh, so it's it's got like a, a um, it's a, like a drawstring type situation. Okay, I'm gonna carefully close the drawstring and tie it secure and and uh, set it on the counter for now, and then okay. go back upstairs. I mean, do you have a replacement head diaper for him? Nah. So he's well, not just, just a... sneezing time stores all over the ship? Nah, he'll be okay. He's 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 been through this before. Right. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it affects him, not us, unless I collect the spores and then scatter them on us. The whole uh, shower cap was the solution that I tried to devise so that he wasn't sneezing himself just all over. You all are back at Lucy's magnificent mansion. I'm gonna try to make some kind of drink with this freaking cinnamon schnapps that I picked up from Crescent Shadow. Okay. Like hot chocolate with cinnamon cinnamon schnapps in it, so it's like whatever that Mexican chocolate that has cinnamon in it. Sure. Sounds dope. Probably will be. <laughs> you guys have... I'm a little bummed because Tom is not here to share it with. I mean, yeah. technically Tom is in the, the room right here. Yeah, he's, his little token's still there. Let me just, just delete that. He's just hanging out. Oh no! And boop. Where the frick is he? Uh, uh -oh, where's Waldo? <laughs> dining room. In the green chair. I'm just gonna... Delete everyone. No, Tom! <laughs> and me! Oh, fuck. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> There we go. That took care of it. <laughs> what would you guys like to do? You yeah, have all the time in the world, except for, like, all the time. Well. We have a whole shower cap full of freaking head spores. I mean, we could. We do have all the time that we want it. Let's do lines of head spores, guys. Well, I'm gonna go back to my room and find clothes and unwear. I mean, what time is it? 4.40. 6.40, by the way. So you're wrong. 7.40? No, you're wrong. <laughs> we go by DM's time here. So. Time is only relevant here. <laughs> You're living in the past. Over there in your Pacific time. Right? Unless it's the time zone I'm in, it's made up. <laughs> so let's give here? you guys... Let's give you guys a bit of a chance to think about what's up. We're going to go ahead and go to break a little bit earlier than normal. And then we'll be right back. Just a couple minutes. Won't take us very long. See you shortly. Hey, I know you can follow us over on TikTok. We sometimes post fun stuff from our sessions. And yeah, you just find it there at Diecast Destiny. Hey, we made it. Look at that. We did it. Oh. Good job, us. Oh. Who knows if it was two minutes. What was that? That was crazy. That was uh, a sound. That was good sound. I, I like that sound. That was good. Mm -hmm. 
I was wondering. I was like, what? Welcome back. All right. <clears throat> so, y'all are on the Lucy again in her magnificent mansion. Tom is not here. The world is going to collapse. I don't know if the world's going to collapse. But all of us is out Tom. there somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of other crap to do. How to decide. What would you like to do? Do a little peek ski on Alphalos and let you bring it up. Or Gnorbit. Are we gathered or did people disperse at this point? I mean, I went to my room and got changed and came back out. That's right. I do remember hearing that. I was like, we were having some uh, audio hard to hear at the end there. <laughs> I was like, can we take a break so I can restart my gateway? Uh, did, we, did we settle on what time of day it was? Uh, it, it's probably uh, starting to push toward the evening, for okay. sure. Uh, if not already there. Moon and Portobello are just kind of pacing in that uh, that um, uh, hallway between the stairs on the first level. The moon is trying to think. I'm chilling in the big comfy room with my spiked drink. Hmm. We've got that show tonight, and there's also Tom. I almost don't want to go back to the Crescent Shadow and after all of that. Me neither. You should come sit down and have a drink with me, Loon. I would love to, but I just... I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, I understand that. Ish sits down to have a drink with Cecily. I mean, we can't just abandon Tom. No, but now that we know that there's something more powerful, we can at least figure it out and make a game plan. Who did he say his boyfriend was? Or the guy he's staying with? Sir Lawrence? Sir, Sir Lawrence is what I thought I heard. That's what I heard. Maybe That's we should try to find out information on him. Hmm, that could work. Perhaps, perhaps he's the one that's, um, done this to Tom. But what if he's under the same kind of effects? What if it's somebody else? Or something else? What if he is the effect? Like he's a ghost. And he possessed him. Maybe the, maybe the mansion was haunted. A haunted mansion? Maybe he's possessed by Sir Lawrence. That's what I said. <laughs> it looks around. Oh, right. <laughs> well, there's a I said it in a lot more words, though. There's Isn't it like when you're drunk and words and come in yeah. and then you're like, oh yeah, I... and then they just come out again you're like, I thought of these, and it's like, no, they, <laughs> they drifted into your drunken brain 20 minutes ago, you idiot. <laughs> I heard them. I just like I have that's like a weird superpower I have with people too. <laughs> I grew up with that. My mom once asked what time is it, but I at a volume I didn't hear. 
and because we were like in the car and i just, at that point i just looked at my watch and was just like it's two something and she's like or or no she was just thinking that she was gonna ask or thought she said it out loud but i just happened to look at the time and say that's what it was ah. i did that i did that once but it wasn't with time that was crazy what would you guys like to do Mm -hmm. Holds their drink. So we. I guess we definitely. Are we gonna go back today? Oh, we should probably rest before we go back. Well, that show is only tonight. So if we're gonna catch that show, we have to go back tonight. I don't think we're going to catch that show tonight. There's something there that you think is going. There's some kind of, you know, ulterior motive besides just, you know, having a a pretty, you know, ornate and um, possibly off-putting and also be turn on turning uh, for performance. I don't know. Clink seemed pretty worried about it, considering the flyers. I mean, we can still go, but... I think it was just a coincidence, but... Do we all have the ability? <laughs> Um, no, but maybe I can sneak in if I turn into a wear shoe and hide on one of you. If there's, like, I think we, don't we figure out that if there's, like, if it's a, like, a mana charge, it'll kick you if you don't pay it? Well, that was when there was a wall. Do you think there's going to be a wall? I thought it was going to be, like, at the inn or the tavern where they, like, just use it like gold. Was there a wall in the rooms? Oh, maybe that is how it is. And, like, just face kind of drops. Like, that's not going to work. I mean, it, it, it could be. There could be a cover charge. There was at that the uh, tavern that we went to, or the inn. Yeah, which is odd, because they didn't charge us the last time we were there, did they? I don't think so. Here's a wild idea. Can other creatures or people be put in Portobello's little companion ball? Um... I don't recall. Because if it's since it's like it's a little pocket dimension, right? So then, if he's teleporting his way around, if if he's in there, he can't teleport out because it's he can't go between planes, right? I don't know. Where's he might a, be able to travel between planes. Do you have to be willing to go into the ball? I believe you have to be willing. Oh fuck. Oh, hmm. That was a good thought, though. Maybe he's cursed. Maybe we have to, like, remove curse or greater restoration. And so, well, uh, before we took him, called? he didn't want Loom to cast Bless on him. Or Blessing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! What does that do? Well, I had thought that maybe I would cast protection from good and evil, and that if he was possessed, it might end that effect. That does raise that question, then. Was he possessed, or was he cursed? Because why else would he want you to not? Uh, it's gonna be hard seems, to get close to him again. Seems more like a possession than anything. It's like affected his whole personality. Like it's not him, but he has like he knows Tom's what Tom knows, but he doesn't act like him because Definitely. he doesn't he's not Tom. Yeah, he talked different and he seemed really like mellow, but not in the way that buoyant, but uh... <laughs> Talk 
just has like a different, he had a different air about him. Yeah, he was definitely acting a bit odd. Where is Clank right now? Uh, I'm there. <clears throat> And the office is quiet during all of this. What's your favorite chips? I'm not actually sure what we <laughs> should do about this. Given the tax, as well as our previous efforts, most of us have expended most of our energy. Well, maybe some of us, if that are able to get in, can go to the concert to see if there's anything funny, while the others of us that can't try to find information on Sir Lawrence. Possibly. Although any information you want to gain is probably going to be behind a paywall. And not the kind that we can actually pay half the time. Precisely. I have plenty of spell slots, but, uh, you know, but I don't... I don't know what I would be even looking for once I get in there. You guys know that my skills of perceiving and investigating are not that great. Not only that, but we did tell him where we were going. he would actually do anything to meet us there because right? he seemed pretty adamant on not leaving the right. house and the fact that he is back there so quickly and just acting like nothing happened like i there's he's like attached to that house somehow oh so it couldn't be an attachment not a possession what now Sorry, an attachment, not a possession. Yeah. It's a Jedi joke. It's also a paranormal joke. And that too. <laughs> yeah, something, a force, an energy can be attached to something, but not necessarily possess it. I pick up what you're laying down eventually because I'm drunk. Oh, I have to fumble yeah. for it on the floor first. You said that when you were um, deep diving into Tom's thoughts, you said that um, something was amiss. Uh, how how would you describe what you what you saw in there? Tell me on the doll where the mind touched you. He was, uh, at first blush, the, the surface of his thoughts, uh, he seemed to be totally calm and at ease as he presented to us, you know, uh, but going somewhat deeper into his mind, uh, I don't quite know how to articulate it. His mind became darker, d tormented in a sense. And I distinctly heard a scream for help from within his thoughts. And did you notice anything strange about the house while we were in there? Well, there was some... fluffery uh, in the ethereal plane. Uh, but that was not specifically around Tom. That was within the entirety of the house. What do you mean? Well, we're thinking that the house has something to do with it. What was? What would you see? I'd like to make uh, a arcana or like just a, a a general knowledge check of 
based on Loon's um, knowledge of like spirits, uh, ghosty type stuff, does she think that this might be um, some sort of ghosty um, possession or the like? Pull it up. Okay. Uh, uh, you want me to roll? Arcana. Okay. Uh, 24? It certainly could be. Mm -hmm. Um, though... Uh... You would need probably more info on the... Fluffery. <laughs> uh, but based on, based on what you know right now... It's possible. Hmm. Well, it certainly sounds possible that he could be possessed. Can you... I'm sorry, could you describe more of this, uh, luffery? Hold one moment. Your call is very important to us. Sorry, Please sorry, sure checking on a sick on cat. And the next available agent will be able to take your call. Uh, there had seemed to be um, floating amorphous gobbets of perhaps uh, uh, ethereal material. Hmm, okay. Um, Loon's going to call one of the spectral spirit servants into the room. Okay. One of hey. just the many random ones, or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you see anything now, Walia? Do I? Yeah. Looks like a humanoid spirit. Nothing else funky? No bloody gobbledygook? Lobules. Lobules? Gobbits. Gobbits has walking said. <laughs> no, they're a small gob. They're just a gobbit. <laughs> oh, no! Just a, just a humanoid shape. Not like I saw in the mansion. Right. Well, possession is my best bet without more information. And that's just an educated guess. How do we, how do we help Tom against a possession? Well, sometimes protection from good and evil will end it. But there's also a specific spell where you can dispel good and evil. I... not learned it though. So I wouldn't know if it would actually work or how to do it. Well, greater restoration will end an effect, will end a charm on someone if that's what it is, but if it's a possession, I'm not sure if that will work. I would say it can do one curse, but if it's because a curse is not exactly the same as a possession. That is what I could do today, uh, as far as, like, what I know, um, I'd have to sleep on it and study in the morning. Hmm. 
Huh. What happens if he is possessed? And something else possesses him at the same time. Would that push one of the possessors out? Potentially? Could just tear his mind apart into a thousand pieces. Hmm. Perhaps that's a bad idea then. Can I do a history check to see if anything I've read or studied might Give me an indication of an answer for that question. Uh, sure. Nice, 27. You're muted. We're not hearing you. Nuts. It won't necessarily push the other one out. It could. Uh, do run the risk of uh, fucking Tom up. You're kind of just playing around in his brain hole. So. Which Cecily doesn't want to play around with brains anymore. So like maybe. Especially not Tom's. Um, uh, yeah, you do know there are other methods of um, removing a possession, though. It looks like I can only also cast protection from evil and good as well, so it'd be the same as whether Loon casts it or if I did. Well, we could try that. We just have to get back into the house. We could also just incapacitate him. Yep, we can try that again as well. I'm in. Render him unconscious and unable to teleport away. Probably via violent means. Do we have any, um, sleepy sleepy potion powder stuff? I Dude. thought we had some of the poison, I'm but it is in none sure. of the inventories. Oh, fuck. So, I don't know if it was lost during the, uh, point where the buildings were. Oh, oh I still God, have I a bunch you. of random poisons. I haven't given them those ones to Bailey yet. I gave them the, the ingredients we got, but the I got a bunch of vials from the Remnant's headquarters still. Just, we never went through them to identify them. Except there was like a whole room that was just like, this one dude was sitting there and like he just had was just surrounded by friggin' boxes, like cases yeah. of the essence of ether or whatever. And well, uh, we took a couple of them. I remember we did. Yeah. And then we knocked a bunch of them over and shut the room so, like, all the gas would stay in there. And then the guards crawled it, like, came in and yeah. all, like... <laughs> Those are the ones I'm talking out. about. There there was a bunch of different stuff. So it's like, we could have one. Um, can I look in the bag for one that, like... We got a couple that were confirmed. Clank used them. So, like, would I recognize it? Would I know what to look for in the lot? Sure. Do I have to roll for anything, or...? No, you would probably just know. Alright, we'll look at yeah, that. Assuming Clank told you. 
Ariana had said it out loud, right? That we were look for the sleepy poison. Oh yeah, right, absolutely. Look for the sleepy poison. Do we okay. have any sleepy poison? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was sure okay. we had at least like three of them. Yeah, I know we used a couple in that ordeal, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'll hand it over to Cariana since she spoke up about it. This one? Yes, that one. You know what you could do? You could put that shit in one of your glass-tipped arrows and then like fire it next to him, so it just goes like like yeah, poof. Like smoke bomb! I mean, I still have my glass tip arrows filled with holy water. Mm -hmm. You never use those? Not all of them. Ooh. Flash them with holy water. <gasps> the power if of Christ a... compels you. Yeah, if he's a bad ghost possessing Tom, maybe that'll push him out too. <laughs> Okay, so we have options. That's how that works, right? <laughs> yes, that is how it works. Oh, cool. Uh, it, it depends on the, the possession. True, it does. It is worth trying. That might only make it mad. Like, if you hit an owlbear with just, like, one arrow, like, you're not going to kill it. You're just going to make it mad. But I mean, I could empty. I have three more. Um, or no, I have more. I only filled six. So I can fill. And I have five. Yeah. Um, I can fill some. And I've only tampered with a couple of them. Firing booze into Tom's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we have a few ideas. How do we get back into the house? Will it just be open? Probably not. It's probably one of those where it like recognizes us and it's like, nah. We might have to assume a gaseous form of other, some other type of flight to get over the wall and through the gate. Uh -huh. Even then, that might not afford us entry into the home itself. Like it's warded. That and the front door might also be locked. Well, well, if we are I a gas, then get... we just go through a cracked window and call it good. Down the chimney. We don't need doors. But Where we're literally... going, we don't need doors. But if it's warded... We're literally sitting on an extra-dimensional plane right now, inside of a ship. The home itself could have been something similar. I didn't see any actual servants. I mean, did the house look like the same size from the inside as it did on the outside? Yeah. Yeah, so then that's probably not... I don't know. You could be right. And in that case, we would just hit, like, I don't know, a facade of a window and, like, try to go down the chimney and it's just like, boom. Like, nope, can't go there, it's just a wall. It's, it's an option, though. We can try it. If I have it prepared in the morning. I was going to say, we're going to have to wait till the morning anyway, wouldn't we? Hmm. I only have the uh, transport via plants today. So unless there was a tree, a big tree inside the house, I probably couldn't do it. What about inside the uh, gate? Because there's a wall. Were there any trees within the courtyard? Big enough to allow a portal? Uh, within the courtyard, there were... Um, yeah. There were uh, at least a couple trees um, that might be big enough for a portal. We could do that, and then hopefully force entry via more mundane means. I love a good B&E. Bacon and eggs. I agree. 
Yeah, sure, that's what Yes, that, that. So should I go ahead and uh, put some of this in my glass to Ferris? It's up to you, my good friend. I'm I think no matter what, it's a smart idea it's to have a, a couple of arrows filled with those. It's a smart idea. Uh, how many yeah. arrows would I fill with this vial? I recommend that you do it um, maybe down in the workshop, though. Good idea. I actually recommend that. Knock us all out. Actually help you do that, who is proficient with poisons. That sounds like a great idea. Yes, let's do that. So, um, your per uh, potion poison, all of that. You're typically able to get three arrows out of the thing. That's what I figured. Would I be able to produce a poisoner's kit and then become proficient with that and assist? Assist in pouring it from one to the other? Yes, without a mishap. Since it is sure. a gas, I mean. It and then, like, it's, all, it's like so, so quiet down there. Go down there, you guys are just like passed out on the floor. All right. And what is it called again? Me. Essence of Ether. Um, and sure. Clink, yes. Dope. It is now solidly nighttime where you're at. But not necessarily where the Crescent Shadow is. You really want to go to the show, dude. You are so welcome if you want to, but... <laughs> Would you say that some of us took a short rest? Chatting and drinking about what to do? Huh. All right. Give me my Short key rest back. it up, my dudes. I don't think that's gonna do much for me, but I'm taking it anyways. Might as well. The only thing I would get back from the short rest is wild shapes, which I haven't used any of, so. So, my dudes, what would you like to do? So, do we go back and try to save Tom tonight? Or hope he's there in the morning? As well as Sir... What's his name? Lawrence? Isn't there as well? Lancelot. Lawrence. Yes, all of that. Isn't there in the morning as well? Or even tonight? Well, I can always scry on him in the morning and make sure that he's still in the same place. And then we can go from there. Unless you guys want to go to the show tonight, I, Clank, you seem very interested in seeing, like, naked goblins. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because of the whole Verdan thing. Well, I mean, I, I just... get, like, I mean, I get the curiosity, like, I've been to a donkey show before. Uh, I mean, that's not my thing, but you never know. Maybe I understanding partially nude goblin death metal is a link to possible Verdan roots. We never know. Be, never know. Maybe there's a whole song about how the Verdan came into being. Ah. Because some goblins fucked some sauce. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Realistically, <laughs> investigating the show would be somewhat of a risk, seeing as we are somewhat depleted. Now, we could go in with the intent of avoiding a fight, if at all possible, and gleaning what we can, or we can avoid the whole thing. 
what would everyone like to do? Well, now that we've had a little bit of a rest, I can go. So, either way. I wouldn't be able to. Like, I would, but... I don't want to chance it. Is this a vote, Clink? I am calling for a vote. I say we wait till morning. Same. Wait till morning. Two in the negative. Anyone else? Well, uh... You said that these flyers were used for recruitment. In... South Warren, at Crackfest. But... The folks around Crescent Shadow didn't really seem... All that interested in the flyers. And to be fair, I don't really imagine that many of them are gonna be, well, the religious type. Professor Mayorin did let us know that there were a portion of the populace that do subscribe to the cult That's of the divine. That's true. Moot. Boat screen. <laughs> oh, the flyer. I said nah. I had uh, been somewhat distracted uh, by the progression of events, but I had uh, identified the flyer. Now, I don't know if this information will uh, change anyone's mind or, or be particularly helpful, but when I cast my spell upon it, uh, it seems that the flyer seems to cause something else to change when used at the right time near that something else. So it is. Now, I don't want to. Yes, yeah, so it would seem. So it's probably just an invitation. So, like I said. Wait, it causes something to change when it's near something else? At just the right time? When used at the right time, uh, near something else. I was thinking it maybe the medallion was involved, but... It likely opens the door at sundown. Either that... Oh. Passed, Which is why I said, does everybody have to have one? No, wait a minute. What school of magic is polymorph? Transmutation. Which that's the school it was. Right. You don't think those people at that show are gonna get goblin or what gobbled? I don't know. Be guzzled by goblins? Now I really don't want to go. I mean, somebody said that they had seen them before, and I thought they were okay. I mean, it seemed like a real thing. Mm -hmm. I need... I need a D2. You have one on Foundry. I cannot access it. I can access it. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna, like, look up, see what Polymorph was, what it was for, and I was like, I think I just know, based off of the type of thing that it does, it's probably transmutation. Well, it makes sense. <laughs> if it's not, then someone yeah, dropped the ball. You were correct. I saw some other... Clank, just let me know when you want to call that vote again. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. Okay, pull it back up. Well, considering the show is only tonight, and I think Tom has been in that house 
for a few days now, and will probably remain there at least another night. We should probably go to the show. So this is a vote for show or no show? Yes. Make it sure. Kish, what's your decision? Well, if it might have something to do with the other gold flyers, I want to make sure. Maybe we can hear something at the show about this house Tom's at, too. How about we go? William. So, the question is, should we stay or should we go? Oh, God. Now, if we stay, there no. might be trouble. <laughs> if we go, there could be double. I think that's usually the other way, but in this case, yes, I think it would be better with this way. Either way. Darling, you've got to let me know. Should we stay or should we go? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Should we stay or should we go now? <sighs> bum, 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 bum. This is the one song Planks reference like, that I... This indecision like... is bugging me. No, yeah, oh, this is just like so happy right now. <laughs> I love the clash. <clears throat> Clink? It's settled. <sighs> We're going. Unless you would like to stay. I'm not forcing anyone to do anything, but... The vote's over, Clink. <laughs> <laughs> Be a leader, I'm saying Clink. that those that voted to stay have the option to not go. I'm not forcing anyone to go. Well, I mean, I don't want to, like... I'm super good at saving your guys' lives and stuff, so I should probably go. <laughs> you are. I guess I'll go, too. I don't want to split us up. You saved Loon. Yeah, but I think I yeah. might have, like, messed up some... Like you didn't mess anything up. What? Don't sell yourself short. I'm fine. And Loon's eye starts twitching. Start crossing. <laughs> one one of the eyes starts just kind of slowly rolling to the back. But he used to do that, it right? Pops it pops <laughs> back in place. It's fine. <laughs> You've always been able to do that. I don't think you've been able to do that. See, My I neck broke was glowing. Loon just just smiles. She just just grins. Pretty sure that mm -hmm. at least some. I think you may still may have taken a hit to maybe some of your intelligence. But um, I'm not saying you know you're dumb, but you're smart. But maybe just like I don't know, half a point less smart. We'll I think I think I did something. Know. We'll never Over. know. Roll for digging yourself <laughs> into a grave. And hey, pulling it back to in. see if Loon's less smart. <laughs> Why don't we not go down that road and get on the way? But that would mean going on a road. I said that road. We're going down a different road. A different road. Gotcha. So. We should hurry. Yep, let's go. Right. All right. So, you'll head back to the Aerith College of Majory. To the portal. Or do you head all the way back there, I assume, William? Or are you going to use teleportation circle? What says the group? I could TC us pretty quickly from right here. Or not from right right here. We'd have to get off the Lucy. I would say burn the slot. We're not going to get in a fight. We're not? No, we're not. If you it's say a so. reconnaissance mission. Again, we're gonna I rock repeat. out with our socks out. That's right, we're rocking out with our socks out. We are not getting in a fight. Does a fight in a mosh pit like count? I don't know what that is. Mosh you pit. just throw fists around and like crowd surf and maybe kick someone in the head. You know, that seems like a Actually, sounds like fun. <laughs> Okay. Just 
Just remember, if someone falls down, what do you do? You pick them up. Okay. Okay. See, that's what makes it friendly. Yes. Um... <laughs> that sounds like a good time. Maybe wear the gloves, Kish. <laughs> just imagine Kish in a mosh pit, just fucking pimp slapping the shit out of people, and they just go flying like off to the side and shit. Like just lays out just a like, of mosh pit. Wow. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Boy, what a narrative! What a yarn. Have you decided what's happening here? We cast a spell, we're, we're going. Yeah, we're circling. You're going now, okay. Good, good, good. E. Oof. All right. You arrive in the Crescent Shadow, where you are currently at. It is beginning to get dark, but not quite. Oh, we're just hey. in We better hustle. You think we'll need more of those flyers? Like, Kariana thought? Or will the one work for us as a group? Well, if we see any on the way, uh, pick them up or ask the stranger if they don't want it. Maybe we could have it. Maybe check the trash cans. Maybe they just threw them away because they were like, boring, I don't care. That's a good idea. I don't want to see a show about, like, goblin guzzlers, like... I'm too rich and fancy for that. You're looking for on the, the way. way. Yeah, on the way, Kish will rummage through the garbage cans. That'll be... I'll shuffle for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll an investigation check, please. Uh, uh. I'm not to look too much like a street urchin, though. Aww. <laughs> Three or all the two. That's the worst. It's the that is, one. That is the worst. Yep. Uh, while we're walking, Loon's just gonna keep her eyes peeled for them, see if she notices any like just on, you know, tacked up to billboards, uh, light poles. Okay. Just in the street. Sure. Go ahead and make a, a perception check. Nice. 27. There are. There are quite a few, in fact. I am, I'm leaving Kogat, by the way. Okay. This is not a Dionicus know. endeavor. Yeah, for <laughs> recon. We were like, let's just bring, like, um, you know, like a big old iron defender or steel defender and, like, a. Oh, Fang's and... coming. Oh. <laughs> he can stand upright. Yes. You just put a hat and on also him. <laughs> won't bite people when everyone starts punching each other in a circle. And his oh, like whole call. like to like torso like spin around in a circle, so he just puts his arms out straight and he's just like <laughs> As Loon spots them, I'll kinda like dart around and nab him. I mean, if anything, they're worth a couple of gold, right? Maybe. Oh, I didn't have but... to go searching through the garbage. <laughs> yes, you're all 30 now. Wipes off, off their head. <laughs> Would you... Oh, man. Would you like me to clean you up? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and learn Stand press up. the digitation for the next eight hours. And, uh... Just, just boob kish clean. With my, Where, my, that's you know, awesome. that's, yeah, now you're not a little dirty gremlin. My, my, Thank forever you. steel soap. <laughs> so, does is that an an effect that you get from like your multi tool thing, your your wrench or whatever? Yes, I can learn any cantrip for eight hours. So, does like a little feather duster pop out of the end of it, and you just kind of like brush it over Kish? No, I. <laughs> no, no, yes, that's, that's exactly steel, what happens. The steel bar of soap. They're like, oh, it's, it's my, my antimicrobial. We joke about it being the magic eraser. 
That's a bummer. Seriously, those things are the shit. They worked. But anyways. Talk about soap. Kish is cleaner when they started the day. Thank you. Because I'm pretty sure... Dr. Squatch soap smells like motor oil. I took a bath in the hot tub. Oh, man! Not the kind it's, of muzz using. It's just a bath, you guys. See, it is a bath. It just happens to be heated. Okay, well. I thought it was a recreational pool, not a bath. It's both. It's a bath. Ding dong. By the way, you might... Big enough to be a pool for me. Take a visit to it. Because showers haven't been invented yet. Clank, why don't you get on that? <laughs> it rains all the time. Shower but time. Can we have a waterfall inside the Lucy? Have you ever been to Bogsboro? Oh. Because it is hot rain there. I want to go then. Is it like Florida? Where is it? Yes. Just hot and like hot rain. It's kind of like it the part of like Florida next to Louisiana. Like, not the cool part, like the swampy part. Is that where that spider rancher you talked about was? Yes. Yeah. And it's the worst. <laughs> I want to go there now. <laughs> well, okay, you can make friends with the lizard folk, okay? Because that's what it's populated I by. And apparently that. they farm spiders. Oh, that's Just, like, I don't know. Established now. Louisiana, Use my mask of many faces it. until like look like a lizard folk, and then I can just be all like, I don't know, you got some nice property up in there. I got like, like I just spider farms. You got there. You got that silt. You got there. No, no. You gotta dry your asses more. <laughs> Are we there yet? Because it's this lizard person. Nah, I got it. There you go. <laughs> it took me Michelle, a minute too, so I was I'm like, helping you with your lizard share. accent. <laughs> That was also obsessively, like, considering it, like, hmm, yeah. We're here. I do imagine them having, like, a Cajun I can swamp see that. people. Yep. yep. <gasps> like, they're gators. Is there gator a people. line? <laughs> uh, there is still quite a line. Fuck. This is why we were supposed I to go early. spot the folks that I made friends with. Um, make a perception check. Carry on, what did you say? I said that that's the reason why we were wanting to go earlier, because we figured that there would be a line. Sixteen. <sighs> you do not. They're probably inside already. They, they knew to come early. early. Well, we had an emergency. Might as well get in line. Do we see people handing flyers to the uh, attendant? The door person? Or... Uh, you do. Everyone in line has a flyer. And we only have one. No, oh. She gathered, no, we gathered a bunch, so she probably got a bunch for everybody. Okay. I would have imagine. as many as I could. I don't know how many that is, but... Roll a d6. No, roll a d20. Roll a d6. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we need like six. Make it a 12 at least. Oh, never mind. Take it back. <laughs> well, we technically <laughs> only need... Freaking beautiful. We technically only needed five because we had one. So we have an extra. You know how to say. But also, Construct, there you go, might, for you know, Construct <laughs> might not need a ticket. They might just walk in. Maybe. Oh. I'm an idiot. What? Tell us more. <laughs> it's the tax. The cover. The There's a are spell the slot on the fucking thing. Oh, is that? Oh. It's the cover oh! charge. Oh. So that way we don't have to spend a slot to get it. Let's see if I'm that's a, actually the thing. I'm a fucking so it's like a free, like it's all nefarious. They're doing dark stuff. Free and it's event, like... and and the thing is like, okay, well, there's an automatic cover charge. Well, here, let's go ahead and put it in the flyer, and then it'll technically yep. be free. Damn, they were just 
giving out mana and gold to advertise their band? This has got to be. This is like the fan. Abu Dhabi of like the like... Crescent Shadow. Yeah, I mean, someone probably parked it's a tank on, on a fucking Denali earlier. Like it's fine. <laughs> it's still impressive. <laughs> Well, this park this year. <laughs> <laughs> A big old freaking Sherman tank just fall in line. Lou's gonna uh, chat up the people in uh, in front of us. So, have y'all seen these guys before? No, we haven't. Oh, so it's your first time too. It is. Very cool, very cool. Is this gonna have like a mustache and like a goatee and like or a beard and like a floppy hat? <laughs> is he with someone? Is he wearing flannel? Uh he <laughs> he is with someone. Uh no, he's actually clean shaven. <laughs> I'm just picturing the biggest looking hipster. <laughs> just Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fully curled, like waxed mustache and like a little like pointy like soul patch of a green goatee with like a I, yeah like a floppy beret. Like I'm an artist. They're not even here for the band. I live in a loft downtown. There's someone playing here right. tonight. I don't Feel know. attacked. <laughs> I mean, I'm an artist, kind of. Yeah, but I wear flannel. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like the weird gothy one that's just like, ew, don't touch me. I wear oversized flannels. Yeah. You guys wait for just a little bit. The line does move forward. Slowly. Did we lose Trey and Jer? No, nope, I was it was it looked like we could have video back up, but as soon as I turned it on, it was like, nope. Booty. Gotcha. So Okay. <laughs> Did not, uh, okay. Um the line moves forward slowly. Eventually you're able to get up close enough to where you see that. There is a fairly large Minotaur bouncer. Hell yeah. Ooh, yeah. Um, he seems to be not only taking... Well, he, he seems to be not only taking the flyer, but he also takes some sort of energy. Once... Hey. Once that energy seems to be expended into whatever this little device is, he takes the flyer. The person that just gave it to him stands in front of the wall as there is no door there. He slaps the flyer against the wall. The wall transforms into this entrance and the person goes inside and the wall closes again it eventually gets up to whoever's in front who's there uh, I assume me if I was talking to the folks in front of us fair point it gets up to you hello five slots please and he holds out a device in front of you I look back at the, the group. Uh, sounds like cover charge is a uh, five. Um, do we still want to see this show? I can't. I'm already here. Make your decision, please. Thanks. Stay with Cariana. I will spend all of my spell slots and hand of the flyer. Five? That's five. That is yeah, one second level and three first. Okay. Yeah, you, you kind of push behind or push just beyond the loon there for a moment. 
spend your spell slots, hand him the flyer. He slaps it against the wall, and the door opens before you. You can hear music playing from the inside. They seem to have already started. That's All rocking right. pretty good. You head inside. Loon, do you spend your... Yep, I'm a follow clank. It's the same thing. Who all is going inside for sure? No. I'm going. I'm going. What was that, Cecily? <laughs> I'm going. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. I had like, <laughs> like shit in thought, my throat. Sorry. That's fine. I thought I thought you said moo. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. He's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Most you definitely get... <laughs> did not make a mooing sound at a we're, minotaur. We're not getting get in fights. We're no, not, not gonna get, get in a fight. <laughs> You're inside. We're I'm outside. Fine. I'm actually listening to Clang for once. <laughs> Just so and I'm also know. not a racist. I'm also not racist. I have four slots. I was I was one short. Someone else could help you if you want. I'll drop one for care. Will you? Oh, volume offered. Volume offered. Uh, <laughs> do they Can stop my construct? <laughs> yeah, do they stop? Yeah. It's slots, right? Like, not levels. Slots. Right. Slots. Right. Well, right. Like a, like a fifth level, one fifth level slot would count for this. Hot diggity damn. Just doing that then. Oh, I only need to do one second level, not two of them. Is that for like all the levels then? Yeah. So, so how many? What, what spell slots do you have available? I have a one, right. two, second, and a third. Okay, you could just do a second and a third. Is that right? Or two second and a first, and then you're Solid. you're in. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it I thought was it like was... Act, like full slots, like yeah. not like a like levels. Okay, then no, no. did I definitely have more? I was unaware of that. Okay, cool. Thinking of the way you were. So they don't. Are we let still? Oh, no, will let him in. Uh, does he got the slots to cover him? Oh, he's a construct. You can be on a, a second bouncer outside. Well, I know in, when in this... we. When we first were rolling with uh, being using key, we were just gonna like go for a one to one, uh, but you were gonna like check on that later because it's weird, wonky math. Are we still rolling with the one to one for now? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell Fang to wait in the alley. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Report every tiny thing that you see. No. Or he doesn't have the ability to do that. <laughs> also, we went through that with Torque, and it was a headache. <laughs> it was a doty moment, for sure. All right. So, you all walk inside. It's fairly packed. It is loud. You can barely hear each other when you try to talk to each other. Oh, um, I don't try there... to talk to anybody. I just like, woo, and go diving into the fray of it. So it's yeah. a good band. <laughs> I don't even care. It's a it's good a party. Band. There is um, just this like cloud of smoke of some sort just hanging over you. Everyone's having a great time. Myself dizzy doing that. No, oh, no. <laughs> oh, I can't yeah. headbang. They're punk as fuck. They are punk as fuck. It's like red hot chili peppers. But <laughs> goblins. Red hot chili goblins. Why does this it actually band have would be so a good many punk. songs about this place <laughs> called California? <laughs> <sighs> red hot chili goblins. Oops. Okay. Also, there that goblin go. has That's six fingers. Yes, thank you. Nah, we don't talk about that. Ah. It does kind of look like uh, RACP. Midjourney has the worst ability to handle fingers and shit. The guitar player so. has and only, ears. you know, three. It seems like that one should be playing the guitar. <laughs> right? Nah. He has Instead his of... hands together like... Instead of the three-fingered one. 
it's like totally wonky for sure, but like it's I love it though. We probably see it today. Goodness. I'm all in. <clears throat> so they are going rather hard. You guys have a hard time moving around. Except you Kish carry on a also fairly easy time moving through the crowd. Cecily is just dancing it up, having a great time. I just move with the crowd, so that's how I move in through and stuff. I just go with it. I yeah. body my way through and make sure I clear a path for Loon. Yeah, Loon just like hanging Aww. on to him, talking to him via like just, telepathy. Yeah, hang hang on to my hang on my poncho. She just hold your hand. You're here. They're going. It's wild. It's a concert. Wow. There's the Goblin Guzzlers. What do you want to do? I think we know what Cecily's doing. Just sort of like watch the crowd, I guess. Sure. Make a perception okay. check. I'm gonna lean. I'm gonna lead Loon to the kind of back near the bar, where maybe it might be a little more tame. Might be. Where are we going? Just keep following me. Oh, okay. We could just yeah. talk like this all night, you know. Yes. You telepath. So, yep. Yeah. You end up getting to the bar, and while it's more tame, it is a small place, and there are a lot of people in here. Um, you are being pushed up against the bar, much like everyone else that's trying to get any sort of beverage. Uh, I'm gonna oh, dive bar shows. Yeah, I'm gonna slam uh, 15 gold down and yell ale and hold up two. Yeah, uh, no one responds verbally to you. He just kind of looks at you, holds up a finger, and it's like, yeah. And then he, he starts pouring a couple ales, tosses them down, takes the gold, nods, goes to the next person. Yep. Hand one to Loon. Um, thanks. Now, Cremini might be able to scout in this environment. That's a valid point. Okay. Um, I'll summon forth Cremini. Okay. Hermione appears. I'll uh, send them, you know, to kind of like uh, fly around above the crowd and um, all right, Clink, um, if I'm going to look through Hermione, uh, I won't be able to see, so. I'll put you on my shoulders. I have a better idea. Um, just play along. Also, before you do this, if you can spot, uh, Cecily, tell her to send that little demon she has running through there, too. You always talk so mean about squat. It's a demon. <laughs> He's so sweet. It's a demon. Battle buddy. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, okay, just Loon's gonna find a wall, uh, a space where there's like nobody, like at the wall. Okay. And she's gonna lean her back flat against that wall. Okay. All right. 
Now, if you could just stand in front of me and make sure that I don't accidentally get elbowed in the face by one of these um, folks, I think we'll be okay. Fair enough. And I'm gonna use my moth vision. Sounds good. As Cremini flies up above the crowd, I would like you to go ahead and make a perception check at disadvantage, because Cremini glows, and I don't know if you've ever driven at night in fog. Yep. Cremini does not exactly have fog lights. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> yeah. a low glow is better than a high beam. Pramini is glowing from all angles. <laughs> so it's almost like high and That's low That's the wrong button. Ignore that. Okay. That was persuasion. Pramini persuades the crowd. Look at how pretty I am. You, you actually you don't me. see me, but I see everything. Pardon me. Give me five minutes, let me do. That's way better. 23? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so... Uh, even though uh, it is difficult to see, there are pockets where um, Kermini is able to kind of dip down and be able to look around, and uh, you have an excellent view of the stage. And it is by this time, fairly quick into it, that um, that at least a couple of them uh, just no longer have anything on, except for just this one sock cover in their junk oh, and they okay. seem to be having a great time do i spot cecily uh make a perception never mind you already did that yeah um so here's something i don't think we've run into before. Can I still communicate telepathically uh, with Clank? Because I believe I need to see the person. Well, what's your spell say? You can establish the link with someone you see. I don't think you need to see them after you establish the link. Okay. Um, yeah, you're close to me. I saw you when I established the link. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba. It lasts for an hour. Okay, yeah. Oh, I see Cecily. Although, if I try to speak with her, I won't be able to talk to you. Fine. Let her know what to do and then reestablish it with me. Um, okay. Uh, is Cecily at least, um, oh, it just says within a number of feet equal to 10 times my level. So, yeah, so is she... 130 feet away? Yeah, 130 feet away from me? Yeah. Okay. For sure. I am going to, um, look at her. You are good. Mm -hmm. Through, through Cremini. And, yep. uh, make that mine leak. Hey, Cecily. Connect. <laughs> look, look up. It's, it's Cremini. Um, hey, as you, as you see that and you look up and you point, someone else saw you look up and point and they see it and then they're like, oh! and then they start losing their minds like, yeah, and then other people around you start losing their minds like, fuck yeah, thing, and then, uh, it's the, like join in to make it look like, yeah, it was totally like, supposed to be they're all it's part of the show kind of crowding in together and then the goblin guzzler, guzzlers even acknowledge it as they're singing um clink suggests maybe uh summoning squat you know just um i guess scout around and and see if anything fishy is going on i get stepped on here. Hmm. And 
I don't think he can fly. He's a closet, right? Or an imp? He's a closet. Quasi. Oh. Imps can fly. I don't know about closets. I know closets can go invisible. You can go invisible, yeah, but maybe. Can't hear you, boss. Sorry. He does not have a fly speed. But he does have Shape Changer, which can use his action to polymorph into a beast form that resembles a bat with a fly speed of 10, or the speed of 10 feet, or fly speed of 40 feet. There you go. Yeah. So he could be an invisible bat. Perfect. Yeah, it's just a concentration for him to turn. So, well, polymorph is a concentration. Shape changer is not concentration. Yeah, I think shape changing is. Oh, okay. Because it's just because it says, like, use this action to polymorph into a beast bird. He's not actually casting this spell, though. It's a spell like ability. So I'm going to, like, pop him out kind of, like, close to me so he's, like, um, like, not super obvious, but I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna try and do this, like, quickly, you know, just, like, pop him out, be like, bat recon, and, like, invisible, just real quick. Okay. Sounds good. You pop him out. I would like Squat to go ahead and make a, let's a call it a, check. just a, a dexterity check. I don't know why that rolled an advantage. I lost someone, but all right, so an eight. He's, as as you pop him out and you say that, the crowd is still pushing in tightly towards you, and you see he begins to get squished. You can do one thing to help him out. What would you like to do? He's in bat form now, so he's kind not, of smaller. Not, not quite yet. I'm just going to grab him and, like, in my hand and just, like, throw him up into the air. Throw that okay. motherfucker. Either make an athletics or an acrobatics check. Figure out how to open up all this shit so I can... I don't know how to make him do that. Oh, this is for you. Oh, for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was it? Yeah, either in athletics or acrobatics. It's up to you. Let's see, acrobatics, I actually have a plus two in. Let's try that. Does oh, Cecily wow. happen to be within 30 feet of me? Yes. You can't see her. She's very crowded. Do you have to be able to see her? Uh, I believe so, yes. But let me yeah. check. When you or another creature... Yeah, I can see. Yep, yeah, cannot see. Sorry. Okay. At 12. Uh, with your acrobatics, you're able to... You find just the quickest moment, and you are able to get down and scoop him up. It's not terribly difficult. You've been in this scene before. Uh, and you're able to get him up there and he goes his little chunky self and he starts like just turning ever so slowly in the air but then bat all right um um i'll have him his he'll go invisible mm -hmm. and um 
Can I communicate with him telepathically? Is that how that works? I believe so, yeah. Actually, I have no idea. Read up on that. <laughs> does it follow I, the find I, familiar spell? It is the find familiar, yeah. Yeah, it does have, it is, yeah, it's yeah. telepathic. So I would like, all that would have been telepathic to be like, okay, bats and invisible and go look for shady shit involving um, Cult of the Divine, possibly. Okay, are you going to go through his eyes? or That's probably not a... Probably not a good idea yeah, in the middle of, an, of a mosh pit. Right, right. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check for him. Why won't it? I have no idea how to do that because I don't. Uh, go ahead. And, well, let me see here. Um, doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba. Looks uh, like I can make this. It would just be the stat. Since okay. it's not proficient in it, it's only going to show the two. You would just use whatever stat is associated. Yeah. So see where it see where down there under passive perception and dark vision, yeah. where it says skills stealth plus five. Yeah. So that that skill is what he's proficient in. So since he's not proficient in um, perception, you would just like he said. So go ahead and just make a wisdom check for him. Oh, wisdom and shit. Are you blind as a bat? God. Probably. Oh. He's what? a bat. His senses are all fucked up in here. It is loud. Oh, it is yeah, loud. Yeah, with the sonar. Yeah. He's just a beast that resembles a bat. He's not oh, actually okay. a bat. Oh, okay. He's like a, just a oh, demonic cool. okay. So he doesn't have like bat senses or anything like that. He just looks hmm. kind of bat-like, but he's still a demon. So he's, he's metal just as a fuck. little batty. <laughs> he's just a little batty. He's a little batty. I'm batty. Okay. He's voiced by Robin Williams. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's hard for him to see anything. You you, you see him flying around, and uh then you lose him. You lose sight of him. Well, at least really try not sure to... I, I say telepathically went. to him. I'm just like, well, at least try not to get killed. Yeah. Don't die this time. Which, I mean, it wouldn't really matter. I just have to resummon him, but that takes, yeah. like, time. He's so grumpy after. And he is <laughs> grumpy after. What would you guys like to do? Uh, well, Loon will continue to keep an eye on the crowd and the show from Cremini. And I'll just continue to mosh, because I can't really do much else. What about the rest of you? Did Loon reestablish a link with me? Nope. Um, but uh, you do feel... She wants to. Do feel her hand, like, kind of tug on your, your collar uh, to, like, pull you closer. And then she's going to, to do the, the old uh, show shout. I found Cecily. I think she did the thing. That was like hard to hear and hurt at the same time. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm going to communicate the idea of telep telepathy. Uh Telecate. Um, yeah, let me let me let me telecate to you. <laughs> Can I spot him with Cremini? Sure. Yep. Ah, uh, there. Is that better? Very much. You know, I have to see you to do this. Right. So, hopefully, Squat and Cremini can head into the back and look for anything going on back there. Uh, you mean like backstage, uh, just in the back rooms? Both. Hmm. Okay. I I'll see what um, I'll see what Cremini sees, and I will uh send Cremini backstage. Okay. 
Go ahead and make a perception check for Kramini to navigate your way there. Uh, not exactly knowing where backstage is in this bar. Um, Cecily. You're not sure what happened, but you get a very familiar feeling of, God damn it, he died again. Uh, is it going to be a disadvantage or just flat? Uh, I will give it to you flat since you um, rolled fairly decently last time. Ouch. Ten. Getting a lot okay. of halfling ones today. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't He's look so happy around. about it. Flying around. Ecstatic. He's flying around looking for the back. You, I mean, you fly him to where you're pretty sure like it makes the most sense for it to be. Ish. William. Yep. Kariana, what are you guys doing? William is simultaneously trying to, like, uh, cover his ears to protect his hearing a little bit and also hold on to, like, a support pillar somewhere, somewhere hopefully towards the back of the crowd, but he doesn't know what this room is because he can only see butts. Uh, <laughs> That's about his eye line. So he's just found a pillar that he's holding on to, like, who is it? Theseus tossed at sea? Uh, 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 and he's cast Arcane Eye and put his little uh, detector thing up towards the ceiling so he can hopefully see where any of his friends are. Make a perception check. A oh, disadvantage. Wow, yeah. Staying through the, the uh, smoke. Nothing but nuts and butts. <laughs> but it smells wonderful. In all those leather pants? Yeah, probably. There's no bidets <laughs> or loomy. There's a 16 and an 8. Plus. Exception is 8, 7, so that's uh, 15. 15. Final 15. number. You can. You are able to see... Uh, your friends. You see Loon is up on a wall. Clank's right there with her. Cecily is rocking out in the middle of the mosh pit. Um, oh, it's angry rage stomping because god damn it, squat. You see <laughs> you see Cariana. Uh, what is Cariana doing? I'm just chilling. Like, the, I guess chilling. I'm enjoying the music. Ariana's chilling and moving in just this like perfect way that no one ever really bumps into her. And it just seems so graceful amidst all the chaos. Weird. Uh, Kish, where are you? Is the, is anyone doing some of that crowd surfing that Cicely talked about? There are. Yeah. You are. <laughs> well, okay. Seeing what that is. I want to get up to the stage and like do crowd surfing on the crowd and keep my eye out for anything like a medallion on anyone wearing, like, especially in the front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make you roll for any of that. You're able to get to the front fairly easily, get up onto the stage. The crowd cheers for you because they're excited. Um, Woo! The bouncers see you and start coming your way, but then you hop it onto the crowd. Uh, are able to... I am the slap leader! Jump on him. <laughs> are able to crowd surf. And there becomes there comes a time, and it happens uh, a, a few times, uh, where it seems like you're getting ready to fall, but due to your dope monk shit, uh, you're able to adjust yourself so that whatever hand that likely missed you, um, you're able to use it to keep yourself up. You do not fail this crowd surf. You're just going around wherever the crowd takes you. This is awesome. <laughs> woo, Kish! Woo! All right, and looking around, especially flipping at almost missed hands and stuff, keeping my eye out for medallions. Okay, make a perception shake. Twenty-nine. Jesus. Jesus. 
Okay. He's Gish within 30 feet. <laughs> He's got a check. I mean, he would see <laughs> Kish too. Yes. Can I see Kish? <laughs> yeah, you're tall enough that you can see Kish surfing it up. <sighs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-two. Nice. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> uh, I see Kish, and I put my beer up, and I like yell very loudly, like, "Hey!" And then everyone around them was probably gonna reciprocate and put their hands up, and maybe, maybe some, some jewelry might slip out. <laughs> More. Love it. Okay. And if they, if they ever get anywhere close to me, I'm going to hand off my drink to Kish. Yeah. Okay. Kish, it's it's pretty much up to you where you glide. You're, you, you can pretty much guide them how you wish. And Beeline honestly, for the beer. No. <laughs> yeah, the, the crowd begin, after they realize that, like, you're just staying up there, yeah. they begin to, like, go nuts. And uh, then Clank raises his freaking beer and cheers, and uh, the crowd around you cheers and lifts you up higher, and you can see everything. Literally and, everything. <laughs> and over on the opposite side, there's a table. And at this table, there are four people. Each of them, they don't react to the cheers. They seem to just be enjoying some alcohol, but what they do have are medallions on each of their necks. Ah. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Uh, direct the... Cr Crimini? Oh, Cr Crimini? Cr Crimini. Crimini. Her Hermione. Like the mushroom. Hermione. <laughs> the big C. Crimini mushroom. Eventually, you're able to get to the back. You find where this is probably backstage, and the door is shut, but waiting a moment, the door opens, and uh, someone comes walking out, and you take that moment to slip in. Moving around back there, you get into a room where there seems to be uh, large boxes where the musical instruments and uh, the sound equipment and random shit like that uh, probably were stored. And in there, you see several people, um, most you don't recognize. One that you do recognize. You see Norbit. I'll murder that kid. And that's where we're going to go ahead and end for mm. the night. Oh. Okay. All right, I just want to say before I forget, have the crowd direct me back, surf into Clay, grab the beer. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. And because right. of dope yep. monk shit, you don't spill a drop while you're getting tossed around. Not a drop. With the crowd. I want to jump down and, like, I'm going to tell everyone what I found, too. But, like, yeah. I want the beer. <laughs> he offered it up. <laughs> so, we'll pick this up here next time. Holy crap. So, Norbit's a roadie for a freaking goblin guzzler? Oh, my God. Oh, that Said just made this whole thing on nah. stage so Said crazy. I wasn't going to get in a fight. Oh, got VIP passes or some shit. I said I wasn't gonna get a fight. Like I'm not a band. You did say that. And look, you did in this session. I want to get in a fight. Uh, <sighs> I mean, oh man, we have like ability to know. make go seepy seepies. Link doesn't know. Yep. 
Not yet. Goodness. All right. Good times. Man. <laughs> Let's do some voting. Yarsh. So, at the end of every session, I let the players vote for what character they think deserves inspiration for next week. And for whatever reason, let's pull that up. Let's uh, switch this music out. All right. Sarah, who do you think deserves inspiration and why? And Walliam's out this week? Yeah, yes. Correct. Uh, come back today. Great. Who and um... why? Um... Can, I, I know I, I haven't done this before. Can you come back to me? <laughs> yeah, it's going great, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Chair. Who and why? Can you come back to me? I'm uh, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I swear, I swear to God. God let's damn it. All, oh, let's all do it. Cycle right back to this. Go right go. back to Sarah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Still not ready. I needed more time. Yeah, I usually keep some notes for this kind of thing uh, because I'm really bad at remembering individual moments over the course of a session. I have a drink. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I know I'd want to devote for... Uh, 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 candidate had been uh, Cecily for the, like, abrupt Kim Kardashian disguise. <laughs> which sort of came out of left field. Uh... uh what did the uh, uh, loon for uh, doing that counter charm on Tom? Because that seems to work pretty well. But I think I have to vote for Kish for the crowd surfing moment ah. at the end there. Because that seemed very, like, character appropriate. <laughs> and also uh, a really good use of their skills. All right. Yes. Kish surfing. That, that's that's mine as well. There you go. Matt. Uh, Cecily for throwing a demon in midair in a punk rock concert. <laughs> All right. If I had one in real life, it's what I would do. <laughs> oh, shit, demon. It died. Oh. <laughs> Ow, we're friggin' summoning him again. God damn it. I, we gotta figure that out what's killing this expensive. guy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he rolled so low on his perception in such a horribly busy place. He probably he ran right into a see. fucking wall. Like, <laughs> a pirate he's not the smartest either. <laughs> Jax. Despite not being super smart, I'm also gonna the, the throw in the demon bat I liked that. That was good, so Cecily. All right. Well, Sura, it's come back around. Right. Uh, I'm going to go with Kish surfing as well. Some dope monk shit. All right. All right, well, I had come to the conclusion of voting for Cecily for the uh, yes the moment with the joint, too, where she was like, why do you have something Tom licked? And I was like, oh, what's this? Did you take the... We're going to have a talk. I'm going to smoke this all in front of you. <laughs> like, Teach you a lesson about stealing. You do that all the time. <laughs> the smoke in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, how like at the concert she was just rocking out and having a good time and getting squat involved and like, managed man. to 
At least get it's, them in the air. <laughs> it's what I do the second I get into that type of venue. It's just fucking... Nah. Start thrashing. Into the crowd. Yeah. So, that's my vote. It's true, though. Uh, it's Maddie's. I'm like, I have no what? idea what's going to happen when I click this button here. I don't know how it works on a tie. We'll find out. Oh, you do not have permission to execute macro Cecily. <laughs> oh. So it just goes to the it defaults to the first person in line. Looks like it. Uh, we'll give it to both of you though. Yay! That's Yay! what Christian says. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Thank you. Rig the system. It's made that that wasn't actually. Oh, I had metal. come to the. I had come to the conclusion to vote for her, like, I think after Jaren partway through Jess's, somewhere in that area. <laughs> nice. So well, it was a right happy then. accident. So, good job, Cecily and Kish. Congratulations. And thank Hello. you, everyone, for joining us this evening. Once again, fuck wizards. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, just do a Google of OGL 1.1. You'll see all the info that you know now. It is 2.0 now. Which they say they're going to release tomorrow, but we'll see what they do with everything. And the fact that they took a major hit from losing a crap ton of DDB subscriptions. So keep on that good train. Keep on unsubbing keep from that service and yeah. vote with your yeah. wallet. Keep up the fight. But Open d d We will see you all next week, next Sunday. And until then, we love you very much. Thank you all for joining us. And good night. Listen to our podcast on all the major podcast locations, Spotify, Amazon Music, Audible, and Apple Podcasts. Woo!